Happy New Year's Day, January 1st, 2023. Let's get this party started. Should be interesting. Okay. We have a lot of people registered and Hi, Wendy. Hi, Jane. Hi, Carl. Hello. So good to see you guys here. Thank you for being with me today. There. Thank you for doing this today. <laughs> this should be fun. You could I you like could that. just be hanging out in your garden with Mark and just relaxing with your cats and your plants and the and instead you're doing this. Oh, I, 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 this is going to be a blast. I've really been looking forward to it. And it just stopped raining yesterday. So we have a garden, but and the sun shines out, but it is still wet out there. And I was up all night working on my book. So I, that's what I'd probably do today is I was doing the hello, Jim. Welcome to, welcome to Social Trivia <clears throat> by Susan. Hello. I hope I, uh, I got to work with my audio. Hang on. No, you're there. I can hear you. Am I, am I not too loud? Am I too quiet or what? You're about normal. Perfect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just don't start screaming at us or anything like that. No, no. Carolyn, I'm impressed with your library. It I looks know. like it, it looks like uh, Beauty and the Beast. And don't you love it? Thank you. you get away from that library. Oh my god! I would just be. I've got a lot of books too, and I've been ignoring most of them. I keep buying them, and I keep putting them on the shelves and looking at them, going, "Yeah, I'll get there." <laughs> yeah, I finally. At my library card back because to save money because I'm in two book clubs and I like to read so I just picked up another book whenever I was at CFI in LA I said I can have this right Jim <laughs> well they're supposed to be for donors I said well I just donated my time to a good talk here so I bought I picked up Richard Dawkins biography or autobiography brief candle in the dark and it's sitting there with Probably 15 books I bought at Cyclone <laughs> that I haven't opened. I tell you. Yeah, I just I'm started Merchants of, mm -hmm. of Doubt that I got at Cyclone, Merchants of Doubt, um, Naomi. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Recipes, which I, I can't think today. So trivia is going to be fun because my brain's dead. So. Well, that's okay. Yeah. It should be fine. But you know what? Um, I said to myself, I'm not going to even make a, a resolution that I'm going to to start reading more this year because I, I my problem is I keep accumulating books, but I've got to get stuff out. I've got to start. You know, I use books. I think reading books is an excuse not to get other stuff done. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here we go. We're getting. We've got forty. How many people? Sixty-two people responded to the. Um, to the event <clears throat> i doubt we'll have 60 people but oh my gosh you guys got to be on your best behavior we were out, out bailing yesterday we found the drains but we still have somebody coming oh that's right find... you weren't even sure you're gonna be able to make it today because of your flooding <sighs> yeah we had a beautiful lake outside but now it's fine um but the front they have to find the drain for us because when they did the landscaping i don't know if they kind of did something bad. <laughs> My name is morning, Leonard. Hello, Terry. Good, Hi. Good morning. Joining me this morning. Morning, Carolyn. It, if I had behind me what you have behind you, <laughs> I'd be about worried about uh, water damage as well. That's yeah, earthquakes. Oh yeah, that should be interesting. <laughs> oh, if it, if it were a only kitty, real, is that a kitty or a puppy? it's not. Oh, it's a puppy. It's a puppy. It's a puppy. It's a puppy. It was a puppy. At? Where are you at, Jim? Uh, I'm in St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, I've been, I think I was in St. Paul. I was in, um, I was born time in, 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 in Minneapolis. And then I think we might have gone to St. Paul too. My company I used to work for was in uh, Minneapolis. So we used to have to go there for company functions and I worked for Life Touch. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but I've heard of Life Touch. They do the um, they do the yearbook pictures. Yeah, school pictures, all that stuff. Yeah, I worked yeah, in a JC JC Penney's for thirty something years, and that nice. was, I had to go back there 
Minneapolis was really interesting. I had never heard of this idea of these giant skyscrapers having like a mall inside. You don't have to mm -hmm. go outside. And then you go up and then they have bridges going across to the other side. To Skyways. You don't Skyways. Have to Human I, habit trail. I've mm -hmm. never heard of it. <laughs> I thought, what the heck is this? Because you're walking down the street looking for some place to eat or something to do. And then they'd have like a little sign saying food court inside. And I thought, well, why aren't there places to eat on the street? I was very naive. I was probably in my 40s too. <laughs> but you guys have like winter there and, oh, yeah. and <laughs> snow and, and reasons why you wouldn't want to be out onto the sidewalks and stuff like that. So I, I was oh, yeah. pretty impressed. Avi! Like, wow. Oh, look, Avi's here. I knew Yay. he was coming because he, he, I, I saw his request. All the way from who knows what country he's in now. There's Avi, our little sprout. <laughs> what country are you in today? Still Germany. Still Germany. <laughs> yes. Do you unless think Andras is going to show you? I saw you find him. Yeah, unless Germany's had a successful coup in the past few hours, I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh, well, it's good to have you here. Fi I, I Finally, we put on a trivia that you would be able to attend because- Yeah, I'm very happy, very excited. <laughs> I watched that video you posted, Avi. That was kind of funny. Oh yeah, the the one, um, like the, the dinner, dinner for alone, one. Dinner alone, dinner for one. Yeah, apparently that's that's something that is traditional in a few um, European countries that um, Germany among them, where they it's like played like not um, over and over and over again during um, it was New Year's Eve, which is really weird because it has nothing to do with New Year's Eve or Germany or anything. It's just it's the video. It's the thing. That's how the lady celebrates New Year's Eve. Oh, hello, Look, child. Your dad. Your dad. dad showed up for you. Isn't that nice? Um, I, uh, I watched it last night. Uh, Here, let me put dad and, bro and son near each other on my screen. There you go. Um, That's the way it should be. Um, it, it was actually it was kind of cute. It took a little while to get into it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's it, it's fun. It's fun, but is it is it is it German? Like, was it done in Germany? Well, the um, it was. I looked it up yesterday. Um, yesterday, it's the, the it's a play that was written by British some British people, but the actual that actual performance was recorded. I think for for a German network or something. That's why yeah. the uh, yeah. Look, I thought it was yeah. It's very weird. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. put it on my after after we're off the call list. Oh, there. Susan, um, I, I can I I have my I, we have an annual video that Avi and I do I, I did uh, oh, for yeah. New Year's. Can I put for about a minute and a half, a little later? Yeah, I suppose so. A little video that you guys do. That's yeah, we played it last year. On oh, down here. oh, okay. Oh, the music okay, thing. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we can do that, of course. All right, and I'm going to want to get a glass of water. <laughs> I know I'm clearing my throat because I've got <clears throat> morning itis. This is early for me. <laughs> I had to get I and I didn't sleep well thinking I better not oversleep. And I set my alarm. So I was up at waking up at seven, six and then seven and then eight. <laughs> I kept looking at my clock. And you were outside screaming at all hours of the night. Only till midnight ish. <laughs> <little afternoon. clears throat> Did you hear me? I heard you from oh, here. I, I only <laughs> heard you via pants. Facebook. Yeah, we had, we, Mark did really got into it with the heavy, but there's a video up on Facebook. So, you know, Karen might have heard me. I don't know. Karen's down at the other end of the block. So oh, maybe. oh, yes, I did. Are those fireworks or is that Susan? I was <laughs> uh, for folks that don't know, I live five doors away from Susan <laughs> in Salinas, California. On the opposite side of the street, but, but we're, um, we can't even see each other's house. I don't think I could sort of see a corner of your house, I think. But um, when I got home after celebrating uh, New Year's, uh, the countdown for uh, New York, <laughs> oh. <laughs> when I arrived back at my house, um, the uh, the neighbors with uh, younger folks uh, adjacent in our backyard were having foot races down the street. That was a first. <laughs> I missed that. I know that right when I was closing up my door to come in the house, I heard somebody yelling, oh, I said, is that Karen? It sure sounds like you. 
And I thought, no, I'm not going to go look. It's too wet. And I have my house shoes on. Even right. though it was wet. raining. And they kept saying, wait, let's do it again. I know I can beat him. <laughs> and they were having foot races down on your market. Really? Let go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, I miss the days of actually having physical fitness. I'm not sure I ever had those days, but were they going down uh, Nassie and Al or our street? Your street. Oh, I wonder. Oh, yeah, I didn't know. Do you have any meeting, right anybody who knows who my has has seen my who gave us the chicken? Oh, oh. look at neighbor. the chicken. That, that, that could be the was... mascot of your trivia. Uh, trivia yeah. Social trivia. I think I've named. I think I've. Well, yeah, mascot like three years in. Um, I, I think I've, I've owl named him. I think his name is going to be Edgar. Egbert. Oh, no, no, Edgar. 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 He looks like an Edgar. I've been I've been thinking about it, and he's hanging Egg. out with me. He went e -G -G -E out with me yesterday. I thought you said Edgar. No, I Egg thought you said Edgar. E G G E R. Oh yeah. my gosh! Okay, I guess we're gonna have to come up with a new name. I didn't really. Egbert. E G B E R T. No, no, Edgar. <laughs> Edgar, like Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah, like Edgar Allan Poe. E G G Allan Poe. <laughs> he Edgar looks Allen. like an Edgar. Allie, and so Edgar Allen Poultry. <laughs> Hello, Gail. Hi, Z. Hello. Hi, Adrian. Hello. Hi, Jim. Jim. We got nice to see Abby. Hi, Abby. Hey, Abby. Hey, Abby. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Sit. Hey, Wendy. Here. Good morning. morning. Good morning to Californians. You're still yeah. in Germany, yeah. Abby? <laughs> yep, I'm still in Germany. It's 7 p.m. here. Oh, so are you going to make more than one or two rounds today? Uh, hopefully. I mean, no. unless Rob. they start okay. going off on fireworks again tonight. They were literally having fireworks, like, almost just outside of my door or my window for till like, 1.30 in the morning, and it was obnoxious. We were in a dance hall, and we, they had uh, the TV with the countdown clock on it. And I hate when they do that because I know it's always two or three minutes behind. So you're not really, I'm looking at my watch, no, it's all right. And <laughs> right outside our windows, and it was blasting in the windows, somebody who actually had the right time started the fireworks. And the guy So that is down, your oh, concern, Rob, that why, it's why, at the no, wrong why are time. Early? Let's <laughs> not that. that it's going to hurt your ears, but that it's at the wrong time. Okay. Is it no, but, but, then, but then everyone rushed outside to see the fireworks close up. And then, of course, okay. the guys running the thing still had to do it on their time. So we went back in and did a countdown again. It was so stupid. <laughs> Here comes, here it's comes like daylight Abby's savings uncle. time, right? Yeah. It's so yeah. funny we have the whole Sterner family over here. You just call it Sterner? <laughs> she did. Did, it, did I? Yeah. Yes, yeah. she did. Steiner. You did. Steiner, whatever, you know. It's, you got to always add those extra R's. You related to the wrestlers? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Ron. Hi, hey, Abby. How you doing? Hi, Vincent. Very good. How about you? Hi. So, in the background is my mom and she might join today. Oh, oh cool. Yay. So, yeah, yeah. We need more but unfortunately numbers. she is very computer illiterate. Oh, oh that should make it interesting. Oh, yeah, oh, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be <laughs> interesting, all right. Oh, she she might she's gonna ask her for help with the Excel file. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's the one who hacked your Facebook? <laughs> yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> That's okay, can she's just help playing you? like she doesn't know. She's the one who hacked it. Yep. Yep. That's a good, good alibi. That's right. What, Wendy? I'm only seeing a little thumbnail of myself and then only one other screen. I can't make it. I don't know. Uh, how to you make need it. to try changing it to gallery view. You probably what, have. What are you looking? View. What are you watching on? Yeah. That's what... my laptop. <clears throat> upper yeah, so right corner upper, view upper right corner you should see something that says view if you move your mouse near there um upper right corner oh there's some little dots and it says view click on that change it to gallery oh no i don't it isn't saying view it and also over it and it should appear it might be just black in that corner right now be right underneath the X to close the whole meeting. But don't close the whole meeting. Yeah, unless, you have, unless you have a Mac. 
Right. I do have a Mac. Over on the other side. Oh, she has a Mac. Oh, well. There. No, I have That's no okay. Mac. So the, the X is the X. The, 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 the equivalent of the X is there. I'm I'm on a Mac. It says View. I have a Mac up on the right corner. There should yeah. be like little dots. Oh, like this is nine a little lot dots. like how you guys teach me how to use the Google. Yes. <laughs> Everybody yeah. at once. It's so confusing. No, there's no, there, oh, wait, there's uh, I, no, that's in the it. top right hand corner of your of the screen. Yes, it's universal. Does, for does it say view? Nope. Um, like, do you have like a black screen that where you see? people's picture somebody or... share their screen and show it <laughs> well, no, Wendy, could share, do it. Wendy could share her screen you we have a magic before. you have a magic marker you could put a bunch a whole bunch of <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's called trump view how yeah. incredibly useful <laughs> okay so no, we, can, we can we can do this right okay you could also click on your zoom app do you have that in your doc no, as a matter of fact, what happened was that that it wouldn't up, I went through this whole decision making process about an hour an hour ago where it wouldn't upgrade to the newer um newer operator its newer um version and so I deleted it and I was going to download it from um the App Store and there were so many versions and none of them looked like the one I used to have that had the, like the image of a sideways um, film movie camera. And I'm not, and so I thought, okay, well, I'm just gonna go back and use the kind the I started to um, purchase the, the, or sign on for the commercial version from Zoom itself and not the app store and then um and that wasn't working and then i clicked on an old game and it opened up this but now i can't make the um the grid of pictures so tell tell us what you're seeing right now just you and well, your background it, yeah it's no no so the, does it does it say somewhere on this does it have anything else you know what screen? Is there anything else on the screen besides my picture? Okay, yes. There in the lower left hand corner, it has a picture of a microphone, and then it has a, the sideways picture. It says stop video. And okay. then. All right. All right. All right. So, and now what's at the top? It, it has a little box, and whoever's talking, it says their name, including me. And at the very top, it doesn't say Zoom meeting or recording or anything else. Oh, it does say record. There is a, a little uh, box on the left hand side of the top that has a red dot and it says REC for record. <clears throat> Can you right. scroll over maybe? Wendy, do you, do, is this taking up your full screen? Yes. Click up at the top and, and, and then hit escape. On your keyboard. Make it a little small and that'll make it okay. smaller. That's it, a good idea. It might X be. full screen. Okay. <clears throat> Click up at the at the top and then click escape and that'll make it a little smaller and that'll reveal a little more uh, options for you to okay. see. How many people you got? It, it, actually, it is on it. Now I see Avi and then I see it saying my name because I'm talking in a little black Now do you box. see the view up at the in top the, right? In the upper right. Oh, wait. No, that's not it. That's just my safari. Top on the right. black screen. On, on the, the black screen. screen. Do you know what? I'm going to leave the meeting and then come back and maybe it will fix itself. <laughs> I, that's I'm not seeing it on and off again. What you want to do, though, is you don't want it to be full screen. You want it to be a little smaller so that you can see all the options. Let's see the full. <laughs> There's What's this? This is oh, Rob yeah. sharing his view. All right, Rob. I was trying to share Zoom. I didn't want to do that. Why you can't share Zoom. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. let you do that. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. Last time you, a you, screenshot. Last time you, told me, you told me how to put a new background on, and uh -huh. I can't remember because I can't do it. 
Tell you can. Welcome to Zoom chat. You have to ask Wendy. Yeah. So, uh, Gail, Vince, can, uh, can you get your mom left. on the phone? Get her to tell us how to do it. L lower left, you yeah. see where it says so. uh, stop video? Yep, I got that part. Click, click on the up arrow. Yep. Go to choose virtual background. Uh-huh. I got that far, but then it brings up the Zoom thing again. So well, I'm not thing? sure what the Zoom thing is. It brings up the part of Zoom that has uh, virtual settings. background. Settings. Probably settings, huh? Okay. And then you see a, a selection of images and the words virtual background? Virtual, yes. I'm glad we're so you select one. But it's not there. I Last time you showed me how to get it from just something on my computer. Oh, okay. Yeah. You see I a little up. to the right of there, there's a plus sign. Oh, the plus <laughs> sign. That's the part I was missing with the plus okay. sign. Okay. Click the plus sign. Okay. And if I go click on that and I open it, there we go. Yay. I made that just yes. for here. I didn't want to lose. And here's it. Wendy. Wendy's back. Yay. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot the plus sign part. <laughs> we have advanced so much. I think all of tell Wendy, Wendy how to unmute. Yeah, Wendy, you're muted. I'm Wendy. <laughs> okay. I'm unmuted. See what my background says? Yes, we do. Happy I, 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 I that was an accomplishment because I learned how to do that. There you go. See, <laughs> I tell you, you guys are all advancing. Oh, yeah. My accomplishment That's will be getting a new uh, daddy, laptop that'll do, be able to do that. Oh, daddy. What can you see, Wendy? It's the same as it was before. I, can you so click what? your little green dot up in the top left? <laughs> oh, a little green dot in the top left. You know, your little matte dot where it's got a red, yellow, and green. <clears throat> so that'll make your screen a little bit smaller. What, what you're trying to do, Wendy, <clears throat> in the upper right hand corner of your Zoom screen, months. it hey. should say view. And it should be right under where you would normally click off, you know, to, to move the screen away. Not not on a Mac Zoom. <clears throat> okay. No, but it's I have a Mac. I have a Mac laptop. A Mac. And it's up there. And By the way, it doesn't it doesn't even have that on my PC unless I have my mouse over it. Mine just has a clock running. When I mouse, mm -hmm. when I move the mouse, then it changes to the clock plus the oh, view yeah. thing. So when oh, you can well, you you put your mouse yes, in the right hand corner and see if it comes up in the black to the right of the clock. Where mine shows. <laughs> well, Adri so Adrian oh, is teleporting, teleporting from place to place. Like <laughs> oh, wait. The lighthouses. <laughs> hey, stop, doggy. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you I know, sometimes I wish there was a button that muted everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> the the um the uh, host has that power. I know, but Absolutely. I wish I could but just for me, like I wish I didn't have to go turn the sound off in order to have a quiet moment. <laughs> you have to turn it off to have a quiet moment. Like when we're doing a category that's got songs that I'm trying to hear it in my head and everybody's going, oh, I remember that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, wait, I'm trying to hear the damn song. Shut up, everybody. <laughs> so that's what so I'll go up and turn the sound we're... off on my laptop so I can listen to myself. <laughs> uh, that's good. Well, we'll look but at I want a temporary way to do that. Here. Whitney, do you see the view option now? <laughs> nope. No, and this is really frustrating because it's this my my Zoom has sometimes worked and sometimes not. Oh wait a minute. Do you happen to have like an eight or nine year old in your part in your house with you that you could go ask? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell Paula to run down. <clears throat> what happens if you go to the very top of your screen and push yeah. your right mouse button? My yeah. right mouse button does it? Oh, give you options? Daddy. She's on a Mac. Oh. She would just, she would just hover. She would just hover. <laughs> the dog said, "Help." Was that, was that my dog? You're hearing? I heard some dog yell, "Help!" Maybe that was my dog. I apologize. We got a, I hope that was recorded. Something. Vincent, was that recorded? Is that the dog said, "Help." No, it was Jasper. 
Avi, the kid doesn't have to be as old as you stated, by the way. With the very first, this is early days of computer. We had a Mac Plus or something like that. Uh, and uh, my my in-laws were over and they had never seen a personal computer. So it was like, sat down, he wanted to sit. And, and on his lap was my, I think, three, maybe four-year-old nephew. And my father-in-law was using, pulled the mouse out and made the cord face him. So everything was going backwards on the screen. And my nephew goes, no, grandpa, I turned it around. <laughs> Cindy, your review may be different because possibly if you're not working in the app, it may your view may be different. No, well, view. yeah, the web though the website is a little bit different. I don't know about the view, but some of the other stuff. Wendy's going to be looking at us glorily, all pores and all, as we speak. <laughs> I hope not. You know what, Wendy? Take the computer and put it way over there across the room. <laughs> So that we're not so close to you whenever we talk. Oh, I wonder if I just use my phone. Or yeah, just get 25 iPad. computers. Why don't you go get the iPad? Yeah. Just what get 25 I computers. You'll be all set. <laughs> there you go. Well, in honor of oh, Wendy's Wendy, struggles. She's got a picture of Zeke and Wendy. That's so cute. Last time it was in, in honor of her pen. struggles. This is the first time I've ever changed the background on my Zoom. <gasps> first oh. time ever. Oh, <laughs> you guys, are, it's 2023. Look at the things you're able to do. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I need to get a new computer to be able to do. Yeah, Actually, me too. Every, anytime my photo is what house. happens when you put Zoom, you watch Zoom on Zoom. That's what happens. Wait, Janine, you still haven't gotten a new computer? You've been needing a new computer for since we started trivia. No, just, yeah, but why would I spend that much money just to be able to put a picture up behind me? You guys why can not? look my dirty office. You can probably still do it now, though. No, it depends on the computer. Yeah, I don't think so. And some, also, your internet. She lives in a cabin. <laughs> I live in a log cabin. She really does. Out in the a really dark. big log cabin. Hey, it's a like, really, I'm, it's a lovely log cabin. It's I am my happy to have that's, that's finally awesome, gotten man. cell service. So I now like I can use my cell phone. I yeah, like your background. It Everyone looks like a dog walks by. Janine, do you have Wi-Fi? Yes, I don't manage it, however. Okay, so all modern phones will let you make Wi-Fi calls, you, I, which is where I, I'm in the middle of nowhere in New Jersey. And basically, if I had to rely on the cell towers, I could not keep a call going. But I just yes. switch on, on your phone Wi-Fi calling, and it does it over the internet, and it's perfect. And it's pretty Yes, but, but our cell phone works fine. My cell phone is on the Wi-Fi, but both of those are fairly new. And our yeah. previous and Wi-Fi was, was really bad. Else. Look at you. <clears throat> Until Kyle shows up. And Kyle yeah. is the one that's always is lowercase. Yeah, it's all and everything's in lowercase. He'd put his parentheses in lowercase if he knew how. Now, if I could spell, <laughs> I'd do better, but uh, that would just be a nine and a zero. That's so, so what funny. does Kyle object to, Ron? No capitals. It's not Kyle's the problem. It's the person in the uh, that's moderating everything. Yeah, that person. Yeah. Ah, okay. I I don't like I I've always been like weird about punctuation stuff. Okay, so did Wendy just leave and come back? Is yeah, she did. An email well, from somebody back. the other day at work who used it used a colon in his name. He had like a hyphenated first name colon then his last name. Huh. <laughs> oh, sure. <sighs> okay, we so have we have a hyphenated little oh. one's name. I don't so think I'm going to no. start making the the rooms here. If you take the colon out of his name, is that a colonoscopy? <laughs> Maybe. I, I didn't want to ask him. I think no, it would be a colonoscopy. No, a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy. He's a sovereign citizen person. Who? What? <laughs> I missed something. <laughs> Some people will know what I said. Okay. Oh, <laughs> a sovereign citizen. It was recorded, Deborah. Okay, I'll go back and listen. To right, it. you can go back <laughs> and listen. Dizzy. I like you can when Google Karen it. used to drive, and she'd be driving, and the car would be like to the side and stuff like that. So it doesn't bother you, Susan, that Ron is all lowercase and Kevin is like his name is an acronym. Where's Kevin? I'm right here. I just changed it oh, again. Caps right. lock, Kevin. <laughs> <I'm> lock, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, Kevin. He's I, shouting, I'm, I'm shouting, a mother. Kevin. I yes, have raised yes. two children, <clears throat> two sons. Trust me, I've done everything possible to annoy them. So <laughs> they can't. So it's like, eh, <clears throat> I know how they are. I'll just put them in timeout. 
<laughs> so we only have one person here at the moment that's brand new so we may have more people join so poor jim he's going to have to learn all about what we're going to do next welcome right. jim thank welcome, you jim everybody in your best behavior jim's here right <laughs> we have two jims here actually so we've got dr jim i like dr yeah. dim yeah dim. just call me dim dim okay <laughs> call him dim right. okay. i'll respond i will respond to that so so doctor, what, what are you a doctor of uh, no, i'm not really a doctor i just play doctor online he's a doctor uh, online and what kind of doctor do you play online yeah uh, it's just a nickname Come on. <laughs> I picked it, up it's, it's not your side hustle I, I it's, a, it's just like bill nye he's not a science guy he's an engineer so there See, I, I picked up the, the nickname in art school it, it just stuck yeah oh that's a cute name i think that, gee. I seem to recall a Dr. Dim showing up in the uh, uh, Girl Genius web comics. <laughs> really? Wow. Where you, yeah. Jim, where, where are you located? St. Paul, Minnesota. Ah, uh -huh. oh, somebody else. Do we have any other centrals? Well, Chicago, I guess, yeah. St. Louis. Oh, where are all the Europeans? Yeah, I put this on Avi's here. Avi. 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 Want a treat? <laughs> I'll get a treat. I'm gonna go get Jackie a treat. Yeah. Okay, so Jim and you and Joe of, have... uh, speaking of giant cups of coffee, apparently there there's a traditional size, um, like each each type of coffee drink in Europe has a different traditional mug. So if you want what's called a milk uh, in Germany a milk cafe, which is basically a basically a bowl of milk with some coffee in it, um. And it just comes to you like basically a bowl <laughs> without a handle, which is very yeah. Weird. This is this is more a bowl than a cup. It just has a handle. No <laughs> handle is kind of not um, ADA compliant, right? Yeah, like it's the, the same thing. It's a similar thing. If you order Europe a, is in part of the United States. Yeah, they don't. I, they oh, don't I know. <laughs> if you order a latte macchiato in uh, in Europe, it just comes in a tall glass cup. Uh -huh. Like you, like you would just uh, yeah. just regular glass cup. It, it's, I don't know how one is supposed to hold it, but yeah. it just comes Ouch. in a glass cup. And load. Like no handle is either. Hot? No handle. Is it hot? Yeah. Ooh. I guess you don't drink it till it cools off. Maybe you okay. bring it. You bring your own. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Where's my little noisemakers? Besides, where you were have we? A, are you wearing gloves? Yeah, that was at Cycon or Tam. Oh, Tam. One of the was Tam that long time ago before the baby was born? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's now. Oh, All right, so I hope we hung out. Jim, have you used breakout time. rooms before? Jim, uh, Dim, Dim. Yes. Uh, no, okay. I have not. Sam. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to I'm going to put out a message in a moment. It's going to say <laughs> Susan Gerbic has invited you to join whatever breakout room, room. I put you in, and then you just click on the button and it's going to take you into a breakout room when you get there you're going to be there with your team okay and your team your first task is you're going to be making a team name you're going to be in room five so you're going to make a team name and, and that's and they'll explain it to you and then they'll lead you through the whole game team five whatever you end up naming yourself so you guys got to be his guide Make sure you don't click leave game unless, of course, you want to leave the game. But leave meeting. <laughs> but there'll be a lot of things or leave meeting. Yeah, leave meeting. So don't hit that. Perfect. Try always hit leave room. So you guys guide him. If he messes up, it's your fault. <laughs> okay. okay. So here we go. I'm going to set the, I'm going to put you guys in the room. You're only here for a few minutes and then I'm going to bring you back out. So go make your rooms. Be kind to each other. Wash your hands. Always wash out. I started watching that video that Avi had. 
Welcome back, my little minions. That video would have been perfect for a sketch on on uh, Carol Burnett show. By the way, sorry, Jim, I, I couldn't stop my click. <laughs> we just, you are mid-sentence. I, 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 this morning I saw a little news item that said that Canada now has more people than California. <laughs> no way. Well, I would highly be surprised about that. I mean, it's not impossible, but it'll be very surprised. Yeah. That would yeah. be really odd. It's all the immigration. We might have more polar bears or more bears, grizzly bears. Yeah. No, we have more bears, I'm sure that. Well, what is Canada now? If you take all million? bears under consideration. Yeah, even it's even a bears. little short of 40 million. It's a little short of 40 million now. Yeah. yeah, that could be. We're at 38. Yeah. Yeah. Population what? of Canada is 38.25 million. There you go. They could have done it. With or without Quebec. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Population of Canada. Right. We cannot, we can't not be under Canada. <laughs> yes, you can. I get it. Yeah. Under Canada. Under Yeah, yeah you I'm guys. I'm pretty sure California, you could take it in a straight up fight. California has more than Canada. California does or it doesn't? It does. It's about one million more than Canada. Uh, we lost a bunch of people. We lost two representatives, I think. Was it two? You tried looking for them? Did you yeah. look under the couch? <laughs> As we, our population was down by 110 or so thousand. People left. Well, I know they weren't. Oh, you mean, you mean that your population <laughs> dropped and so you lost districts? Right, it was a combination of people leaving and people not having babies. Mm -hmm. We gained. Well, the question is, are there more Americans that that live now in Canada than there are Mexicans that live in Can in California? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, I mean, if you want to be technical, everyone in Canada is an American. That's true. And, Thank and you. Mexicans, well, Mexican, it, it, California was Mexico. Yeah, so they're, they're North American, but if everyone in Canada is an American, what do you call people who are just from the United States? I call them, I'll answer that because I try and I'm trying, I've been trying for US 15 Indians? years to get people to do this. We are U.S. Americans. And yes, we should, that's say North US, Tara. we should say U.S. Americans. You're is all that my Miss, Miss, uh, Miss, Nor Miss uh, North Carolina or whatever <laughs> it is? We're of the United States of Americans or something. <laughs> You watch uh, you watch the pageants there, Alan. No, oh no, you did you ever see oh it's 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 excruciating. It was one of these uh uh one of the uh the Miss Something or Other pageants, and I think it was Miss North Carolina, <laughs> and she had to talk about whatever she had to talk about. It was so embarrassing. Uh and it, when she was talking about America and stuff, and it was just it's you have to. And you'd have to see it. It's, it's, it's so she's running for Congress now. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's probably in Congress. Where, where are our North Carolinians? Yeah, her name is her. Her name is now George Soros. <laughs> somebody tag, George, somebody start no, tag George Santos. Santos. George Santos. What it Santos. Was. Okay, slight so difference between names. the two. Ba, 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 yeah, ba, ba, slight ba, ba. difference. We need to get our team names. So here's the part of the the um, Susan. You just go. <laughs> <laughs> My it. chicken. He's over. He's right here, Edgar. Okay. Adrian, Deborah, Terry, Jane, Vincent. Who are you guys playing as tonight? Today, this morning, or whatever it is for you. <laughs> we didn't <laughs> kill the Pope or Barbara. Ooh. Well, that's good to know. Peggy's not here. Where's Becky? That's why you didn't kill anybody. Last she time her I power heard was have electricity. Oh, Dr. Yeah, Jim, was Dr. Jim needs to be filled in on the power of the spoken word. Oh, yes. Word. Yeah, He's probably wondering what that's off. about. <laughs> if, we talk, if we talk about people, then the next day we read their obituaries. Well, sometime within the next week or two. They it was really. I don't know. We've been talking while. about Musk and Trump an awful lot. And yeah, happened. it hasn't worked yet. <laughs> it's Damn. been a oh, year. Hey, we killed Betty White. Yeah, yeah Betty White was one year ago yesterday. It is neither necessary nor sufficient. For what us day? to talk about them <laughs> for them to die. I mentioned Barbara on Thursday night. Uh oh. Well, it is Billy your fault Joel, then. Billy Joel is doing fine, as far as we know. We talked oh, about. Oh, oh. Oh. We did yeah. Actually, he looked, actually, he was very sick. He was very sick and missed his last concert. Ooh, um, we'll see. Uh, 
We should give Amen. him a rest. I take it your background is give him uh, a rest. It's already starting. I I accidentally hit uh, enter. <laughs> yeah, it's all that coffee you're drinking. Okay. Oh, and you know what's coming. Alan, Kevin, Jim, Bragg, and Karen. Who are who are you playing as today? Put it in the chat. You have That's to say it. Put it in the chat. You have to say it. Yappy, oh. yappy, who near? <laughs> <laughs> <Too near. laughs> when you have a lot to drink that's how it comes out <laughs> good right. celebrating i have my dr pepper right here okay bob janine rob and wendy wendy, wendy you're, you're muted. muted meet the, meet flockers, the flockers and the non-flockers aha uh -huh. <laughs> very good yeah. i don't get it by the way has it ever turned out that two that now? pick the same name yeah. i no. really want in this game it's, close, it's, but not, it's been close yeah yeah, it's been close. The flockers. yeah jim i agree. jim i agree we're americans okay. we're, we're a team of four people and two of them are flockers and Which two of them are not flockers oh i get it oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. chicken people hey bob where's your chicken however we raise our reason. own chickens not steal them from the neighbor's yard I, don't be talking to Edgar like that <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll give it a rest. <laughs> okay, Gail, Leonard, Ron, and Zeke. Zeke, do it. I think you got it, Zeke. Oh, I wasn't ready to type it in, but we're uh, small dick energy at uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, really getalife.com. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, type it in. That's funny. She won. She won the internet that day. Yeah. Yeah, she Our, did. God, did she take him down? That was great. Yeah. There it is. Small dick energy at getalife.com. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> okay. And, and that's what happens. And that's what yep. happens when you and don't Carl. recycle pizza boxes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, they're saying they don't know how if much. Only in Romania. How much energy can you get by burning pizza boxes? <laughs> That's enough to get the fire in the wood stove started. Mm. Not for a small All dick that anyways. grease, you know. What's your team name, Team 5? Oh, Team 5. We are Guten Rutsch ins Neue Jahr. Oh, Lord. <laughs> good something in season. New Year. Um, it's good slide into the new year. Good slide into the new. Do you guys have to slide? Apparently, Germans do. That's what we, when you say it's good, good slide into the new good year. Rich in new. I really want to hear Susan keep new. going through these names. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I take it this is a running God. thing. Each, yeah, up with more and more difficult things for her to say. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Here, Susan, well, be thankful I didn't have, I, we didn't have you do the, the German phrase for congratulations, which is, <laughs> Why do people even have the, words the like thing, that? The things that <laughs> Susan has trouble pronouncing are many and varied. And yeah. you don't have to really go all the way to German. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can just go to Washington. You got my back. Um, well, my team should have just been called Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a fan, Dr. Dim. Yeah, not a not a fan. I think we not did a fan that of that last Wordle? week. Wordle, Wordle, correct. Right. I, I know. did it. Never played I did it, it once. It. I did it once. And Congratulations. There you go. Susan, be time. glad we didn't pick the longest word in the German language. There you go. <laughs> it says <laughs> it says good You'd still be typing New it. Year's. <laughs> oh, in Spanish is oh I can do it in Spanish. Good no, no. It's a, it's a, it's as long. <laughs> It's as long. It's as long as a Jordanian, uh, or I mean, a Lebanese uh, 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 hoagie, or whatever it is. Oh, right. Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, yeah. Lebanese oh, hoagie. Yes. Okay. Here we go. You guys ready? Y'all no. sit down. So who's got the controls? <laughs> okay, I do. So here we are. We are now on the first day of the brand new year of 2023. This is game 141, season three, episode 32, which is 32 in Spanish. Okay, so we are playing five teams. We have a new one new uh, attendee. We have, at the moment, 24 people in total. And that includes me and my chicken. And we are playing our first game of the new year. All right, we have the teams. The teams are... <laughs> They're all vying for 
competition and they're going to get into hand-to-hand -hand combat in any moment now. And the team <laughs> names are We Didn't Kill the Pope or Barbara versus Yappy Who Near versus Meet the Flockers and the Non-Flockers versus Small Dick Energy at GetALife.com versus Guten Riechen is Weather Jara. <laughs> All right. So let's see who starts off and wins the whole Guten Caboodle. So we have five different leaders for the team tonight. Five, five leaders, five. This is the, you can't find anything like this anywhere else on the internet. So we have Adrian leading off in Canada. Canada. And followed by Karen, who's right down the street from me. <laughs> followed by Rob in New Jersey. Followed by Gail in Las Vegas. Followed by Carl, who's in, in St. Louis, Missouri. So here we go. All right. So we're going to start off. We may have some people join us, as we always do, and some people leave, as we always do. And that's the way we play the game. All right. So Adrian is leading off, and she already has her special powers. I do have so my special powers. So the rule is, Dr. Dim, in case you don't know this, which is, well, I don't know why you would, but we are a social trivia group. So we do tend to talk a little bit. <laughs> Nobody is always perfectly silent and don't always follow the rules. But the rules are that you can add somebody, you can ask for help from somebody in your in your voice per, per, perimeter, not on the phone, but like yeah. if you could yell to them in the other room and say, hey, do you know <laughs> who was the whatever, then you're set. So Adrian's going to- No checking oh, your phone. And we're going to mute everybody. And I'm going to make our muter. Who's going to be our muter? I'll do it. Okay. Vincent is going to, is going to be in charge of trolls. <laughs> and maybe right. that'll keep him from being a troll well it takes him to know one i guess and <laughs> what we're going to do is everybody's needed unless the rule is what you have to say is funny so you can unmute just by holding your space bar down and you can you can you can take care of it so adrian i have a feeling i'm using my my, my psychic powers psychic powers to think that maybe we're going to do cryptic crosswords for our first round today. <laughs> Starting yes, out it's a brain Dr. warm up. Oh my oh, God. Wow. So, also for Dr. That, Dim, too. who doesn't know this, I play on everybody's team once, which is the most wonderful. <laughs> oh, never mind. And then there's the Susan curse. Yeah. And I do not know what's <laughs> coming up. I have no idea what the categories are. We did not plan anything in advance. And I haven't met these people before. Except for that one, which you got with your psychic powers. And, <laughs> I, and I got, got it with my psychic powers too. And my brain is fried because I don't understand what I received. I, I got <laughs> it three right? times. I don't understand. What well, don't I'm trying worry. to understand it right now. No, don't worry about it because I'm going to go through it. I've got it all color coded. And uh, oh, that was just sort of the introduction. Okay, so, so Adrian, go for yeah. it. Vincent, mute okay. us. Okay. There we go. In slow motion, beautiful. All right, so this is uh, inspired by Kevin from on Thursday. Everyone seemed to really enjoy the word game thing, and Mano, who has done this topic before, and it's it can be confusing, but hopefully it's it's a word game, and so therefore you don't have to have specific knowledge most of the time. And I'm just gonna just for the record, it wasn't everyone. Was that true? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, more than more, yeah. a lot of people were expressing how much fun they had with uh, Kevin's word game. So yeah, yeah. Rob, I Rob had that was coming out of it. It wasn't my word game. Oh, was it? Oh, was, whose was it? Bob's. The chicken guy. Oh, Bob. Bob's chicken word guy. game. I'm so sorry, Bob. That's so, okay. I, I think most people will remember. Yeah. So, oh, no. oh my God, look at this. This is scary. So instead of me spending a lot of time reading questions, I will give you these directions and I will also give this document to you in the chat so you will have access to it if you have multiple screens etc so essentially what a cryptic crossword is and there's there's about 10 different varieties I've narrowed it down to one type and I've given you three examples so what happens is a part of the clue is going to be the answer and a part of the clue are instructions on how to find that answer so it's like a two-part bit for example, the very first one 
says, for starters, Oliphant was Englishman, not Welshman. And the clue that you need to look out for are, are words like for starters, odd or even letters, or the like words that clue you into what to look for. So for starters tells you that maybe we just look at the first letter of each word. And if you look at O for Oliphant was Englishman and not, you can see it highlighted here in purple, it spells Owen. And I'm not going to make them this hard, by the way. I just wanted to use this as a reference. So it would be referring to a Welshman who's named Owen Glendower, who I'd never heard of. So oh my never, God. I would not Help put me. it. I'm not going to give a, if it's a name, it should be something that you guys are aware of, somebody you know, somebody who is very, very famous, not obscure like this. But the, I, I like this clue. And I got these from the New Yorker, by the way. That's where these are from. And so that's how you would find it. You look for words like for starters or initially, something like that. Uh, the, here's another example. You might actually get sailor at a distance embraced by prophet. So sailor is actually what we're looking for. The word, another word that means sailor, which would be seafarer. Well, how does the rest of it work? Well, at a distance is afar, and it's embraced by a prophet, which is see, a seer. So you can see how it's sort of in the middle. Now, lucky for you, I've only done three of these types. The ones that are the most fun, I think, are the anagrams. And there are, oh, this is wrong. This should be updated. There are five of these. I don't know why it says four still. I thought I uh, corrected that. So there's five of these questions. And what it, you look for are clues like mixed up, disoriented. So words that mean, re, you know, respell it or re, re uh, what do you call it? An anagram. Ordered. Order. Re, thank you. Reorder. So in this case, it says cars out of control in curves. Now, the, the other thing here, do you see this word, this in brackets here? That tells you how many letters there are in the answer. So this is a four letter answer. So what you don't know necessarily is what part is respelled. So it could be cars or it could be in curves. But because it's only four letters, you know it has to be cars respelled. And it means curves. So the answer would be arcs. Any questions? Are we going to have some Rob about Why? highlighting it for us? I have, well? Yes, I have a question. The yeah. same question as Leonard. Yeah. What's that? Why? Why? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, people them. like these. They're crazy. Oh, it, it, it'll it'll be right. interesting to compare the scores uh, for this round compared to my round. Of what you had, exactly. Yeah, it's a very similar idea because you're splitting it into two, right? It's the same idea, but a little bit different. The, I need more one. cough. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to start. Susan had to put me first. I was hoping it was going to be a little later so I could ease in. But uh, the hidden word, there are two of these questions. So I'm, tell, I'm giving you a little hint as to how many to look for. So that's uh, seven questions will be of these guys. And then there's three that are kind of, you have to follow the instructions and figure it out yourself. So the hidden word, these ones are also fun. So if you look at example four and look for words like among, within, or even just plain old in. So inside. So in Scandinavia, grandpa found potent drug. And potent drug is actually what the, we're looking for. And if you look inside, you can see it spells Viagra. So it's within the word. So look out for those. There's two. Of, and not two out of order, right? And not out of order. So in this case, it's just straight, you read it through and you can find it in there. Can oh, they be in non-consecutive words? Uh, no, it the has to be The same letters in the same order. The same letters in the same order. And they will not be in like oh, every other word this, or something. Oh, we you guys. We, okay. We're old hands at this. We've had this kind of <laughs> categorizing ones before. So remember, the, but respelling a bunch of words, Look at how many letters there are. Look for words that are that many letters, right? And there might be more than one word, but they will be in order again. So the, if, if it is respelled, then it will have to be in order. It's never going to be a word here and a word there, you know, that kind of thing. So it has to be in order. And look, this, this clue here, which is the number of letters in the answer, should help you out. And the last thing, there are some words where you're going to have two words to find. And hopefully you'll have fun with those ones. And like if it says four comma six, <laughs> the first word is four 
And the second word is six letters. So it gives you hints. And of course, I'll come around to the rooms. So if you have any questions, laugh at us. You, yeah, no, you, you can always ask. She's right? Make sure if you want to have some instructions, I'm, are you on the right track, etc. I can certainly help you out. So I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, where did that hey, go? Our lifeline's gone. <laughs> They're not this hard usually, Dim, Doctor Dim. <laughs> okay. So there's there the, there's the Google Drive doc for the. Um, what do you call it for the instructions? Now I'll put the clues up into the chat. And we have somebody new named Michael who's showing up. And please um, uh, read them as well, right? For you the recording on it. Yep, I will read them. I don't know if all 10 of them will go in. Let's see if they will. Well, hi, Michael. Um, Welcome to trivia. Hi, Michael. Hello, so Michael. the first one is kind of wheel allowed in highway and it's eight this letters. Is the first, this is the first question of the first round, Michael. Thank you, Karen. And the second one is drunken pirates set for a racy dance. And that's 10 letters. Number three is an Aussie is a muddled under rich rad ass. Seven letters for the first word, eight for the second. Number four, toss out some of the victors, and it's five letters. Number five, broke Ed's plastic. What is going on? It should say broke. I'm going to redo that number five. Uh, I don't know why. There is a different copy here. What's going on? Ooh, it's all that coffee she had. This it's too much coffee. So let me redo number five for you. Hopefully. Wendy. Wendy there we go. Well, you're going to get another clue even with that one. So I don't know why it didn't correct. This is what number five should be. Broke Ed's mixed up actress. And the other one is valid as well. I just redid it to be a little bit more clear, I thought. Because I, I tried these out on my, my kids who not all of them do this. And so I tried to clarify. Number six is they're there already holding light. Number seven is count CD Laura damaged. And that's seven letters. Number eight is school shooting experienced quakes trapping actor Garcia. And it's five comma four. And number nine, pilfer no toys, oddly enough. Number six, there are six letters, sorry. And number 10, a skeptic will be cursing as if confused. That's me. Five comma six. All right. No questions. Go to your rooms. <laughs> I'm, I'm typing it all back <clears throat> into, into my, <clears throat> my spreadsheet. Okay. That, so five is going to be a little different. Yeah, five is both are valid, but I think this one is 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 more clear and helped my kids when they did it. So that's why I redid it. So for Michael, you don't need to chime in, but just to fill you in where we're at, um, our host Susan is now uh, copying all of that. We have been assigned random breakout rooms and teams. We are going to disappear into those rooms to ponder the answers to Adrian's wonderfully challenging and creative questions i hope you have fun first thing in the morning on new year's <laughs> day um and you will be assigned a room if you choose to remain with us by susan and i have got a room set up for him he's going to be in two so yappy who near so you guys take care of him and i'm sitting here in two rooms <clears throat> and let's take care of that so two all right so good luck all have fun i will see you in a few minutes at least I'll see room one in a few minutes. <laughs> oh my Are we going to kill her when she gets back? <laughs> no, we've done this before. Okay, well, I gotta say, I, I understood the, clue, the, the examples, but I'm not understanding the actual questions. Okay, well. So I got to get some guidance to get started here. Okay, so we've done this. All right. <clears throat> so in so number question one, number one, we're looking for an answer that is eight letters long. And it's it's in it's a it's like a hidden word and the letters are in order because it says in kind of wheel yeah so a hidden kind in. of wheel loud on the highway 
would be um, um kind of wheel in there okay what kind of wheels word, are there in the word highway and it's eight letters it could, well, it could be it, 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 anywhere in the sentence so and it could, it could also be a highway words. like it could also of, be it could also be what a it could be part of a, wheel and allowed like it might be like wheelbarrow or or like half and half like a it, huh. imagine if you took kind of wheel allowed in the highway and just put all those letters in a string and took all the the spaces out it's it's in there somewhere let's see let's see if we can find I, it but it other it could be a wheel or it could be a, a highway or it yeah. could be another word for allowed oh it's not a hidden word yes it is but the yeah. clue isn't necessarily a kind of wheel oh <clears throat> or it could be a loud and highway right right hmm. but it's eight letters long yeah it is eight letters let me let me get a pencil in. well none of the wow. words are eight letters so it is a mix-up thing yeah um, but it it's it's uh not a mix-up it's I mean, Somehow. it's not a rearrangement of e any of those words Correct. That are in there. Correct. Correct. What about radial? Radio. I don't. There's. I don't see an R. There's. And that yeah. would be tire. And that's a tire. Yeah. I mean, I'm I thinking like we're on one bicycle or. <laughs> so Adrian, make sure you go over to two and figure out who Michael is. Oh, okay. I will do that. Make sure he's fitting in. Um. You might want to start with number three. And okay, one. thank you. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, funny, one is, right? <laughs> one is hard. Okay, and Aussie is a muddled, under, under rich, rich, rad ass. ass. So four, poor, four, maybe? A poor. But that's not seven letters or eight. Well, or do you muddled. think that's... You... Muddled. Well, muddled, muddled would be an anagram, right? Very good. Whoever said that? Yeah, I'm yeah. saying yeah. I'm going to give hints like that to everybody because you know if they're okay. struggling. So, so if we have what... one. It's a good thing it's daytime for most people. We have lots of time. So we have an anagram Four, that's seven five, letters. Six, and seven. One that's okay, eight. seven. Muddled is the seven answer. If you got to mix it up to make another word, so. No, not mu muddled is the clue that it's an anagram, but the seven and eight are probably not going to come from muddled. Oh, so it might be an Aussie. It might be an Aussie and then rich. Yeah, an Aussie is, is uh, eight letters. So is Aussie is. And five, six, seven, nine. Hmm. Yeah, but I think she put the word and in front of it because it, <clears throat> how do I say? Um, that makes sense. I mean, she didn't need the word. She could have made it Aussie as a muddled. You're so right. I think and Aussie is probably the, what we're talking about. So, hmm. so mix those together and see. Richard Saunders. <laughs> oh, wow. It is Richard. Richard Saunders. Where's the D? Oh, you're using, oh, we can use under and Aussie. Well, there's under, one in rad and there's two no, in muddled, three in muddled. Under rich. It got rich, really small there. Um, under muddled. rich. Too rad, small? Uh, yeah, they seem bigger. Oh, they can be mixed up within all four words. That is under tricky. rich rad ass. Yes. I, I haven't yeah. written it out, but it looks like it's got Richard Saunders in it. And Austin and Richard Austin. Saunders written it all does. over it. Richard is in Rich Rad and Saunders is in Under Ass. Good job. Under Ass. Oh, that's I'm sure he'd be pleased to hear that. Yeah, that's Under great. Good job. R I C H A R D. Oh, S. Well, it'd be cool yeah, if all of these are like, you know, kind of related to our. Thanks. That would make sense. Okay. So, so let's figure out number 10 then. Because uh, that's going to be another one like that. A skeptic. We'll, we'll be cursing. cursing 
as if confused. I was wondering if this is going to be about Susan. Yeah, I was or, thinking the same thing. Susan, okay. Or Rob. Confused? Yeah. Confused <laughs> That's Rob. Okay. It sounds like Rob, actually. <laughs> what what word are we tr trying to decipher S here? A skeptic what? will be. Will be cursing as if. Because confused is the clue that it's an anagram. So oh, right. a skeptic will be cursing. That's two words. A... So it's going to be a person probably again, right? Right. So, uh, which, but what word are we trying to? Hey, um, my name, my name, it's my name because five letters, six letters is Susan Gerbic. Okay. Right. It but is. where's the B? Well, we know the answer is Susan Gerbic. Do we have to know? Oh, there's no, there's not a B. Yeah, there's, there's no, no B. B in it. It's not Susan Gerbic. So, what? and there's what, no, what, what there's, and so there's no, there's it's not Rob either. Who's there's another a skeptic? Where's the why, B? Why isn't it, why isn't it Susan? There's no okay. B. Yes, there is B cursing. Oh my B. God, it is there. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. I didn't see it either. I didn't, okay. It says okay. it's a like, I didn't see it right there. What's wrong with you people? Okay, let's see. Let's see. That was let's awesome. Let's see if it is. Susan, let's see if it is. It is. Well, it has to be. Did we yeah, get it? Got it. Yeah, oh, we got you it. You figured it out for sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so move on. We'll figure it out later how, they, how we got it. All right um school shooting experience quakes that's probably another one right um trapping actor garcia five okay. and four andy garcia it's five and four well i, I don't bet you she's got more people's names in here than we know something trapping. and something andy oh andy oh, and trapping is trapping maybe one of those in words that are inside something else yeah it's like maybe it's like among Randy, oh, uh, something Randy. Randy. James Randy? There's no yes. J, I don't no, but think. No, but Randy no. would be spelled. I can't be right. Uh... Oh, I bet they're all scared. Carl Sagan. Sagan Carl. Where's this? Oh, wait. What's oh. The... I don't know. I'm just guessing names that fit five. <laughs> Oh, that worked. Okay. The theme of Susan Gerbic, Richard Saunders, things yeah. she know. Do, do you think that so that it has to be something about Andy? No. Oh. Is there a, is there enough Carl C A? I'm trying to find the L. Where's the L? I don't see an L. Deborah Personnel at the end of school. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I wow. am not, I am not great at these things, but I do know how to know what my letters look like. <laughs> but and you and you yeah. hate Wordle, go figure. Yeah. I know. I'm really good, good at a lot at. of those puzzles. You'd be like good that. at that. Crypto, crypto, uh, you know, the ones where it's just letters and you have to figure out that I'm really good at those. I'm not but like the whole sentences and stuff, not just some five letter word. Okay, then let's go to Okay, do you think it's Sagan, Carl? I don't think she'd put it in opposite, you know, like reverse order like that. I mean, if she was going to use his name, she would have made it 6-5. Or oh. whatever the letters are, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. Yeah, I know. I, I thought that or too. Or 4-5, but... I guess. So give me some more names of skeptics. They're really popular. Um, so I would think James Randi would be in here somewhere, but I don't yeah. think number 5. Uh, and it's being two and five. I don't think that's it. So it could be Robert Palmer. No, I don't think it, that's not enough. That's I mean, not, not in right this number. one, but another. This is one. for eight, right? Yeah, eight. yeah, we're doing so, eight. Is there um, another James? Is there a James with a four-letter? Um, no, there's no J. Mm -hmm. yeah the reason uh, i was thinking of james randy is because of the andy for andy garcia yeah i think trapping actor who's andy garcia an actor he a is an famous, actor famous actor oh <laughs> oh is there anyone with last name? i've never heard of him last name of andy or last name of hmm, tony mr Okay, so I was just thinking about 
number five might be easier because it says it's two and five and two would have to be like mister or doctor and five letters would be doctor something do we have a skeptic doctor and a five letter word doctor number i can't five? Dr. Oz. Hmm? number five did you say number five yeah i was just thinking of five because it looks like it'd be easier because there's a but two what, and five yeah but the what two is kind probably of, doctor but what kind of uh game is it are we doing mixed are we doing this well, it's mixed up. So the letters are mixed well, up. Well, how do you, you don't know that though? It doesn't say out of control. It could be like part well, mixed B. Up. It says mixed up. Yeah, mixed up. That I think that's a pretty good clue. On number five? That. Yeah. Broke, oh, I'm yeah. looking at the wrong one. Thank oh, yeah. you. Broke Ed's mixed up actress. So okay. probably a Thank you. female. Why are you thinking doctor, Susan? Because, because of two letters. Two letters. And it'd be oh, Mr. Mr. Doctor. Doctor. Could also be my Dr. Angie, A N G I E. Dr. Angie broke Ed's mixed up actress because that's a female doctor in our skeptic community. It fits the letter pattern. Would that fit? And that's a friend of friend of um what's her name? Dr. Angie Mackey. How do you spell she's it? A, uh, she's a good friend. A N G I E. She's a good friend of um no. of Adrian's and There's part no of N. There's no N. Well, there you got me. There is no Angie. Um, is Eugenie a doctor? Dr. Jeannie? G -E -N -I. Yeah, Dr. Jeannie. There's I'm no thinking G. Scott. G-E-N-I-E. -E. There's no G on. How about it's just Scott? Yeah. S-C-O-T. Oh, okay, what we have is. No, that won't fit. Yeah, no okay but okay. well, we got the right idea a female doctor in our community is popular doctor um, i'm thinking it's a female <laughs> because of the word actress dr model mo model i don't know that is doctor. can you name some more doctors well female well there's dr novella but that's too many letters we're going at it a totally different way, Adrian. We no, just perfect. skipped the rules. We're doing something else. <laughs> We're on a totally different path. We're All just right. like thinking of things and seeing if they fit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it could be Mr. But if it's, or it could be Ed. Two letters. Mm. A two-letter name, Ed. Oh, I like Ed. There is an Ed. Ed, yeah. five letters. But it's, what about broke though? It's, does that need to be reflected here? Oh, that's a good point, Jane. There's another word in there that will also tell you what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said mixed up. Oh, you break it up. You oh, the, the up. word is mixed up. So yes. we need to, we need to, the, the word actress needs to be, uh, reassembled so like <laughs> ed act or ed like maybe like it's set act or i think it's ed's actress and you mix up those two words yeah well ed, almost well they ed, have to be in line right but oh, what does it say again oh they have to yeah be they line. have to be it, yeah it's broken up by mixed up so it's either going to be the first bit that you respell or the last bit oh oh b o wait b r and wait E D. Okay, so Ed. Sorry. So if it's Sorry. actress, there's you could split that into two letters and five letters. This is probably really awful for you to be. Oh, watching. that's what it is. It's Teresa. Actress. Teresa. 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 Yeah. Well, but two yeah. two letters. Ter so Teresa, um, and then all we've got. Is I also gave a hint to other groups. That the broke ed with the apostrophe, you can end it there because the apostrophe can end it. So it could either be broke ed redone or actress redone. Uh, okay. Okay. That All right. Vast. That's good. All right. Now, when um, she says redone, that means the letters. Well, so redone. broke ed has D and R for like doctor. So if you take those. So mix it up. And then it's so, Kobe. Uh, Kobe. Who's Kobe? I don't know. 
I don't know the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and I like it. Or, yeah. Um, so, what's that doctor in Australia that they're always having on their show? I think she's from the south part. Dr. Mackey. No, uh, Dr. Um, Ray, Ray, Rokey, Reiki, Reiki, something like, something like that. Okay. B, so the words, so if we use DR in broke ed, then we're the letters we're looking at after are B-O-K-E-E. -E. So maybe it's D-B Rokey. -E 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 -E. <laughs> Good old D-B Rokey. Do we know somebody's last name is K O K E O B E K O B? Hmm. K -O Can we go on to another question? Go on to another one. Are you stuck? Good idea. Can we go back to it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Drunken pirates set for a racy dance. How do we? Ten it? letters. Uh, spicy. Well, drunken might be also like a mixed up thing. Yeah. Ten letters. So. And pirate said for a racy dance. Part of the problem is I'm looking at the screen and the words are about or letters are about six point. Yeah, it's, it's hard to count. Bigger. It's even hard to count them at that, that point. Michael still here. I wonder who it is. Three. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Three, seven. Okay, so <clears throat> pirates set is ten letters. Okay. Um. Ten, okay. Uh, um. I don't know if this means anything, but uh, at the Halloween party, um, Melanie and um, Anthony were pirates. Oh, yeah, uh huh. I don't really know them. So are we looking to, to mix up the word pirate set into one word of 10 letters? Or are we trying Maybe. to find? We don't know. Oh, OK. I thought you guys. We might that. be doing that. <laughs> one, two, three, um, four, pirate six, set. Seven, if it's set for, could that? Um... Set I'm really having trouble months. knowing what like we're Tracy. doing in each one. Eight, Racy, nine. if you put a T in for the Racy, it's Tracy. But there's no T. Oh, yeah, there's a T. And it's only a 10 letter Empire. word. Set. It's only a 10 letter word. So. That's. Um, I think that one's a lot harder than the others. Um, toss out some of the victors. Okay, I'll try. Okay, so it. that's gonna be an anagram of some of the victors. Toss out some of the five letters. One, two, three, four. So five. of the is five letters, right? Or but it's we... saying toss out some of the victors. So maybe the word victors. You take a few letters out. V i c t o r s. So take out two letters, and that's your answer. Hmm. People do this all the time, huh? I guess you get better at it. <laughs> yeah, Tori. Tori. Uh, I. Toss out some of the victors. Losers, toss out some of the victors. Losers. There's no L. No, I guess not. But that's a good answer. Toss out some of the victors. It is. It's a good way to think about it. Yeah. Well, that's six letters, though. Unless it's loser. 
Loser. Loser. But there's no L. Yeah. I wonder if we use of the victors and toss out letters. Hmm. Oh, other. So if you take other. some of, okay, if you take the words of the victors mm -hmm. and you take out the F, Yeah, and, other. And and the V I C T O S, you come up with the word other. Could it uh -huh. be simple something that simple? I it's thought we were simple looking mind. For, I thought we were looking for skeptics. Well, I think it's some of them they might be. Evict. But the word I have of the victors takes out some of the letters and it's not mixing any of the letters up it's it's just they're all in a line right so is evict yeah or evict well we could do both because we have both toss out means to evict e oh yeah 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 I -C -T -E very good that's very, very, very good. Probably right i like that's, that okay that's, that's better yes but we did come up with other <laughs> <laughs> just saying well, let's, yeah. it's, it's good just to look at it that way okay right? they're, they're already holding light so that makes it sound like that word's embedded also right they're there already yeah holding so, light holding light would be ripping it's it's holding letters light. That's seven ripping. They're there. So the the letters are already there, and they mean holding light, and they come from holding light, I believe. Unless it's that word um, there, there just seems odd. There, T H E Y. They are they are there. That's, yeah, that's a really good point. And they are a, there. There's a break at the apostrophe, so the letters they can. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Hmm. The letters can come from R E there already. Okay, what would holding light be? Holding light. Torch. A two. lamp. Yeah. Uh, Captures. Captures. That's eight. Ethereal? Is that there? It is there. Yeah. <laughs> Ethereal is there. Is that eight letters? I, I'd go with that. Okay. I don't know that that. I don't know that that really means holding light. I, I is don't... that eight letters? One, two, three, four, five. Five, yes. six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. It, there, there could be a definition that means that we can make. Sounds like some sort of highbrow thing that that Adrian would do. Yeah, Adrian's highbrow. Okay. <laughs> Count CD Laura damage. Now, okay, something's wrong there. Count CD Laura damage. Well, count the letters. No. Damaged. Oh yeah. Well, CD and Laura are seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is, so is damaged also. But CD and Laura are weirder. They are weirder. <laughs> uh, Calder Calder Caldera? C-A-L. Oh. No, is there a U in there? D-U-R-A. There's a U. C A U cauldron. Oh, cauldron. What is the 
Is it a cauldron? C D, what is the in the alphabet, what how many count C D? C A B C three D four. Three four. I think it's cauldron. Seven. I do too. Cauldron. Oh, okay. I mean that makes sense. Let's just yeah move on. Well, wait, where are you getting the N? From count. Okay, so you're just picking oh, wait, some wait. letters out. I didn't get it from I I thought it was just C D and Laura were mixed up. Oh yeah, well there's no N. And yeah, what, it would what have tells to be. you to what tell what part of this clue tells you to use mixed up letters? Oh, damaged. <laughs> oh. But maybe maybe that's not right. Maybe yeah, maybe that's that might not be right. Right. It's These are super hard, Adrian. So they really nice. are. Who's Michael? Uh, Michael's very quiet. I tried to talk to him and he didn't talk back. So I'm not sure. <laughs> Is he got a video on? What's that? Does he have his video on? No, he doesn't. So I'm not sure if he's there, but uh, I, I apologize to him. I said, this isn't usually how it goes. So I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so he there. hasn't said anything. So I don't even know if he's, well, he, he must have checked on the box to get into his room. Yeah, yeah, he did. He's in his room. But uh, yeah, you guys are doing okay. So anyway, I'm going to cut it short. I don't want you guys to spend too much more time. We're just going to have to have low scores and we're going to have Punch and Judy, you know, oh. like we're just really <laughs> struggling to know which is which kind. It's, I think. it's hard. It's not easy, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, go ahead and bring got, us back. And, and you've got, I'll tell you same... right now, you've got three of them. So you're doing good. Oh my God. Okay. Well, More than we, yeah. Now. You know, we got those. We got once they said Richard Saunders, we said I bet Susan Skirvick's in here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we said number ten has five and six, so I bet that's Susan Gerbic. So we don't know how we got it. We just know what about Rob Gerbic. Palmer. You think Palmer? No, he's Palmer. not in here. I considered oh. doing that, but uh, it takes time to actually come up with these. I only came up with two. The rest I got from my uh, New Yorker, and uh, and I tried to pick the ones that I thought might make more sense. But you know what I think is makes more sense but i know the answer too so it's really hard to judge yeah. whether or not people are going to get it or not and your so, kids did right. this? yeah my well one of my kids did it and my husband who's not very good at these he went through it and he said yeah i think it's okay i you know but he's he, you know it's it's uh but rob's he's complaining to them yeah rob's complaining so he wants it to end so i'm going to go to every group i'm right. on i've done two groups so far and uh, uh, once I get through to the last group and make sure there's no questions or uh, et cetera, I'll close the room. Does that sound okay? okay? Sounds good. Yeah. Do you have any questions before I go? No. <sighs> Is that other guy doing all right, Jim? Dr. Jim? He seems to be. He's participating. Okay, good. All right. So oh, 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 you guys, oddly enough, number nine. What if we did just the odd letters? And yeah, I was just going to say, I think that's what uh, we should do. Yeah. Uh, which, so which question? P L E. Oh. So it'd be P L E. Plenty. T. Plenty. Which means oddly no. enough, that would be O D L E O. -D. Well, oddly. Oddly is already six out. letters. I mean, it's plenty. plenty. Oddly plenty. Is plenty. Odd letters. The, the answer is plenty. Because it means yeah. enough. Yes. You got it. Well done, Terry. Number nine. Gosh, Terry, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm I'm usually pretty good at word games, so nice. It takes, <laughs> takes me a while to learn. Did okay, you guys number... want me to do the answer since number I have eight. answers yeah, yeah, to that's fine. pull them out? Okay. Let's look at number eight real fast. So school shooting experience quakes trapping. So maybe the word is trapped in these other words mm -hmm. that's what i so, was thinking too yeah so it's oh, the five words and four it would be all probably all the words yeah so but so in the right should, order probably yes trapping actor garcia um, yeah, it, oh it's probably an actor trapped in this shooting school shooting experience quakes oh that's a lot though I'm not good at actors. Ex I know. Um, I if it's mainstream oh, enough. You know what? Maybe what? it's a different actor. Maybe it's not. Yes. Yeah. It's the yes. it's that actor with two 
There's two, oh. there's two names. Yes. What's his name? Like Billy Bob or something like that. Yeah, it's he has like a Spanish name, I think. Yeah. Uh, what is his name? John uh, Almos? Almos? No. Oh. Well, wouldn't the letters still have to be in here? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are there any Q names or? Trapper no. John. MD. <laughs> Quinn. That's, that's old. It's Quinn. Uh, what is his name? Quinn. Well, would it be mixed up letters or would they be in order? They're tra it it doesn't we don't know. It's just trapped in there yeah. somehow. Yeah. Yeah. It could let's see. T tinge. Oh. That one might be too hard. Yeah, because we don't know his name. Correct. Drunken that, that would help, huh? <laughs> Drunken uh, pirates. Set, yeah, that kind of wheel allowed in Highway 8. Let's see. Um, allowed in. So we've got in, which means it's hidden. And in the same letter order. So kin, kin, kin. But this one is hard because it can be separated by allowed in. Oh, so. Oh, no, the, no, 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 please don't. What? The allowed in is not part of it. So it's kind of wheel is is in the first part and highway might be the second. We're on part. one. Yes. So allowed in. Wow. How about number eight? The answer is Harley Quinn. No, that's that's too many letters. What wheels are allowed on the highway? Snow tires, at, uh, bicycle, motorcycle. Uh, um, what do you call those big trucks? Semis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trailer. Trailers. No T's though. Um, Kindle. I think we just lost. We just lost. Oh, what about like white wall? Put no, it. No that that is no. eight letters. No T. No. Yeah, there's no T though. No. Somebody else have the, the answer somewhere because Vincent left. Oh, I think he was having maybe computer problems. Yeah, as long as we have the answer somewhere, he'll come I right can... back. But. I think I'm writing them down. I don't know if I have them all though. Alloy? No. Oh no. Alloy? No. No, no, no. Mm. It doesn't. I saw that alloy allowed, and I was thinking alloy. Well, usually the allowed in part wouldn't be part of the clue. I mean, that wouldn't be part of the hidden words. I just don't get some of the these clues, like what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I think I none know, of us right? do. We're just trying <laughs> to. Yeah. If they were all the same. Like yes, all, we all know they always mixed them up. That makes sense, but these are it would make a lot more sense to us. Yeah, broke Ed's mixed up actress eight. There eight. are something like alloy wheels. Well, there are for sure, and there is alloy in this alloy. So what? What else would go that's, with that? I that think that's a great eight, guess to make eight eight letters A L L O Y. We'd, we'd need three more letters. Oh, E-D. Oh, uh, three. Alloyed? Yeah, but that's only seven. Alloyds. <laughs> that's funny. Alloyd, alloyds. Um, uh, how just, about just, white wall? I might like, go. Oh. There's no T. He's coming right back. Right. He's, he's but those are tires. And those this are tires. This is a wheel. Yeah. Or, uh, um, so I'm giving it another minute, and then I'm going to do the two-minute warning. Oh, I okay. Think okay. Go ahead. What is the alloy? What does the alloy refer yeah. to? It's some kind of metal. It's, it's a kind of metal. Yeah, it is a kind of metal. It's like Isn't a. Isn't there mixture. a kind of axle that's a lot? Oh. Sorry about that. My computer did it again. Oh no. Just yeah, just um, this time it was a black screen, and I thought I could 
do something. That's really to odd. You have that. a new computer. Yeah, I know. It's it's awful. It might be what Adrian said. It's just I got a bad computer. Got a bummer. Yeah. Bad a computer. Bad, bad computer. So how many guys did you guys think you got actually got? Well, let me what? pull up. Uh, fortunately, well, maybe I maybe four or five. <laughs> I say what everyone's getting, so it's good. I think we got more than that. Nice. Oh yeah, well, I, that's the only ones I've written down because I might. I was trying to do one. Besides Rob's you team, how's everybody doing? Good. Well, I mean, not Punch and Judy and Lighthouse like zeros. <laughs> 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 so that's good. For a while there, I was a bit worried. So, we'll yeah. get better at them, you know. There's there's <laughs> some groups that want that were asked me if they could keep this until the end of trivia so they could keep working on it because they're having so much fun. And other other people are like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That so would it's be a real me. mix. Like there's no. there's people who are really enjoying it, and there's I some the like are just nope. That's it. It's it's a bit divisive for sure but so if they don't want to know the answers they need to turn off their volume or something yeah <laughs> it's a, uh, if yeah, i could I'm, go ahead go off by my if i could go off by myself and focus it would be a lot yeah that would be a better, lot more yeah. fun it would be better it's okay hard. i'm gonna do it i'm gonna close the rooms so right, i did it already oh, oh you were too <laughs> hey, I, Victor, I, had out of our I had the hand on the button do you have our answers because I, I can't I, don't... I can't bring it up I I oh, gotta shoot. try to I don't have them either it's the first so time we I had write them down. I'll bring so we it had I, th these are the ones I remember that we had we had Richard Saunders for three four mm -hmm. is evict six is ethereal nine was plenty and ten is Susan Gorbeck I don't know if we had other ones because I didn't write them down did we do alloyed or something for one out alloy well we still need eight letters and we only have alloy yeah, yeah alloy then so, we get um, six what was six who was the doctor that was what the hell is his name that was on oprah dr oz, dr. oz. oz. oh yeah, okay never dr. Mind. Phil? dr phil dr phil no, but that's only four letters unless he has two l's on the end no um because at least aren't necessarily skeptic people. Yeah, so she, yeah, she took some of these a, from from the website, not just from, yeah. Which one, so which one are you thinking? Which one are you looking at? Number five. Oh, doctor or Mister? Yeah, or Mister somebody. That's so generic, but I guess it I, could be. There it is. Carrie. Or Ed. Number eight has Carrie. Okay, so broke broke is the key. So it's Ed. Number five. It's Ed. Mix up the letters broke. That's five. That's your answer. No. Ed. Well, the word actress has to be unscrambled. Yes. Okay, we got number well, that's not five letters. So frustrating that this computer is doing this. So it's it's taking it out on you. What's it yeah. doing? Is it recording? Did it sacrifice a chicken or something. Yeah, it's recording. I, I just um, I already did that earlier this week. Oh, I'm not <laughs> a chicken. Oh. Well, it died and I pretended. My mom says she's willing to help me pay for the for the diagnostics of the computer. So, but it just it just keeps restarting. Just oh, that it has only one job. It thinks it's supposed to restart over and over. <laughs> it restarts so over and over and that? over. Well, Vincent, it actually restarted and you got back in really quickly. Well, it's yeah. better than, than well, keeping. Well, at least way it doesn't stop all the time. Vincent, does it restart each? Like, will it probably restart again in this game? Because sometimes it just needs it once. Like maybe right before you you sign in. I just it. I just restarted it okay. just before I came into the game. And I have so no idea. Yeah. I right, enjoyed so it Adrian, so much. It did it again. We're all back. Yeah. Yeah. It's like wee. Yeah. yeah yeah as long as, as long as we're talking about computers i guess i should thank adrian's son for having a working but uh secondhand computer that seems to be doing quite well for is me is it still working okay 
Yeah, I, oh, I, I, I had to I had to get a uh, replacement battery, but that okay. but that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what oh. someone suggested too. I take the battery out, wait sixty seconds, and then put the battery back in. Yep. Is or that... take the battery out, wait sixty seconds, then buy a new computer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could try also better. taking out the battery and then use an eraser and, and <laughs> fix the and fix. I think Jim went to the Doctor Dim went to left the game and not meant to left the no or maybe okay. Okay. I'm lighting it back in. But is that advisable? Can I do that? There's IT people. getting a new computer. Let's yeah, talk you can talk about that during the break. Yeah, yeah, that's a great but time. Adrian. Yes, I'm just had trouble sharing. There we go. Can everyone see that? Yep. It's a little oh, bit small. Well, oh, I will put wait. these. I'll put these into the chat afterwards, Susan. So don't worry. So I tried to Can do you make it a bigger, bigger, bigger? I can no. try to make it bigger, yes. Because I can't I got but my glasses on. Fit. I can't read it. Well, I don't care if it all fits. It doesn't all fit now. <laughs> it's not big does. enough to read. <laughs> okay. Oh, Derek. Oh, you guys. Is that better? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, the first one is roulette. It's root plus let inside. So, that's one of those ones where you had to put a word inside a word. I think oh. one, person, one group did get it, but I don't think most did. I saw that's people different. got number two, which is strip tease, which is an anagram of pirates set, and it means a racy dance. Right. I think everybody oh, got three because yeah. I kind of helped sense. out. Yeah. <laughs> on, on, on number two, I was thinking along the lines of a pun on racy that ah. you had something like. Uh, yeah. It's uh, easy to go in the wrong direction for sure. Yeah. And uh, so number three is definitely Richard Saunders. And number four, who's talk that? out means to evict somebody. <laughs> who's that? Ha ha, Leonard. <laughs> so then toss out is some of, uh, is evict. It's a hidden word within. That's that pink highlighted bit. And broke Ed has to be respelled. What was tricky about this one is actress could also be respelled. So you had to try and figure out which one was respelled. And it's Bo Derek. And oh. there were quite a few teams who did get that. I've been trying to forget her since oh. I heard of her. <laughs> She's been in a few clues with trivia. So ethereal. <laughs> I am I am shocked. Yes, yeah. quite a few people got ethereal. I was very happy. It means light. And it's yeah, I was it's almost dense. there. I was looking at. I, I was seeing real in the in yes. here already. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so it's oh. and then oh, next one is man, Dracula, so which is CD re, uh, CD Laura respelled and it's count, like in Count Dracula. Uh -huh. Mano had a Mano had a thing where the answer was Dracula. And I got yeah. it then. Yeah. It was the same question. Oh, that makes me crazy. Yeah. I was so close on nine. Oh yeah. Number nine is uh school shooting is Sandy Hook. And it is Shook, which okay. is experienced quakes, trapping actor Andy Garcia. Oh, so oh, close. Never would it oh, we got the Andy oh, Garcia oh, part. There, were, oh, there was one part. team at least that got that. I that's, thought. Sh that's a good clue. Oh. I like that. Isn't that cl clever? I think it's really yeah. clever. Yeah, we, we got that one. Okay. I was so pleased. I saw a couple people get nine because I thought this was actually the hardest one. But I should have written. Know. I should have written down the letters. I should have written them down. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It does help to write them down. Because I was sure. thinking, okay, there's a word. I was going every odd numbers. P. Yeah, I'm thinking odd the same thing too, Jim. It, it's so it didn't letter, get there. Yeah, the first, it's just in the third, the fifth, and it spells yeah. out plenty, which yeah. means enough. Enough. Yay. And a skeptic will be cursing as if confused is Susan Gerbeck, our fearless no leader and trivia. I have so. <laughs> mortality. We got yeah, Susan. cursing as is Susan Gerbeck respelled. Well, what we did is we we found out it was Richard Saunders, and then we said, I bet Susan Gerbeck's here somewhere. So we said five and six, Susan Gerbeck. All right, yeah. that's it. We don't, we don't know, we didn't spend any time trying to figure out how. It was Susan Gerbeck. We just knew it was Susan Gerbeck and we moved on. <laughs> That's right. That's what we did. <laughs> there so we we Bo, the one that was Bo Derek, we were spending a lot of time thinking it was another skeptic. So we thought it was Mr. or Dr. something. So yeah. And we didn't even dawn on Bo Derek. At our current we were certainly we spinning our wheels on number one. Yeah, yeah, Carl. We got it. Okay. Yeah, Carl, say one. that again louder, please, because I think it needs to be said. Well, <laughs> This is just the first round. Doesn't mean we're going to be here all day. Come on now. Yay! Okay. But come on now. Well done, Adrian. <laughs> that was a lot of work, Adrian, for Thanks. both of us. You and well. us. Okay, so let's fun. do our scores. 
A lot oh. of work for early in the morning. Well, I did it most yesterday. Now. Okay. And while we were playing games last night, we were t discussing some ideas for respelling Susan Gerbic and Richard Saunders. So it was like quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> I and my ears weren't even burning or anything. I didn't hear anything. Okay. <laughs> you were busy. Good and Rustin in Nua Jara. <laughs> what, what do we got there for your score, kids? Seven. Wow. Seven is wow. Well done. Wow. Okay. Nice. Small dick energy at getalife.com. Also seven. Kevin, uh, oh. Carl has got it all figured out that we're going to be done at. Thanks, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for figuring that out for us, Carl. Now we know we have six more hours. Meet the flockers and the non-flockers. Three. Six. Oh, six. What? 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 We got six. 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 Or three. Yeah. I like the six better. Yeah. Six. <laughs> Who near? Yeah. We got ten. Torpedo us, Wendy. Who did you get three from? <laughs> okay, I counted five. When we got five. Five. Okay, yeah. we didn't kill the Pope Thanks. or Barbara. <laughs> Five. Adrian. So we might three. kill Adrian though when she comes back. <laughs> <laughs> An average score of six, you guys. That isn't bad at all. This, this was actually a very good, challenging puzzle. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really actually good. very fun. It I was think it fun. was a very divisive category. People either love people thing I, all I changed. The only thing seriously, the problem is if all the categories took that long, no one would ever play this game. Yeah. The only thing that would uh, Adrian, would Adrian, change Adrian, Rob thing. was texting me just now how much he loves that category. Uh, yeah, he didn't <laughs> would change one thing, though. I would change, tell us which one is which. I like yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. Me yeah, too. Like that idea. Idea. Or all of them the same. All of them the same. Or make them all the same. I like that. Yes, one or the other. Both of those are good feedback. Yeah. There is really helpful to have how many were each of the three types yeah that was really like, helpful like yeah. mine they were all the same okay so yeah yeah like like what you did bob yeah. evan's turn and uh you've got apparently according to Carl's <laughs> logic you've got two hours <laughs> did you say kevin's turn or karen's turn kevin oh i, I thought i was number category. two you're number where are you karen oh wait Okay, hold on. Hold hold your horses. That was last it's Karen's week. turn. Kevin is right. not playing today. Okay, first, you know how you have a palate, you know how you have a palate cleanser uh, between courses in a complex meal. So this is the oh, visual and mental equivalent. We're having a, a, a brain cleanser. This is a cat break. Everybody see my kitty? And a chicken. Chickens are welcome. It's it's a it's a brain cleanser. Okay, I'm ready for it. Smell. Smell. We are now switching moods because what I have is so far removed from that educated, uh, deeply thinking category. Okay. <laughs> the category is Animal Poop 2. Hangover cures around the world. Oh. And look at. Look at Dr. Dim's donkey. Oh, cute. So, pie. Somebody needs to send this to Brandy because she's not playing because she's got a hangover. Just uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. So what this is, is potentially useful information to keep in mind from the National Geographic's UK travel site of all places where one ought to go, of course, to seek medical mm. advice. She says, <laughs> tongue in cheek. Okay. All right. Stop that. Okay, so uh, what is going to happen here is I'm going to give you, this should go fairly quickly. Uh, this is, uh, you're going to see uh, nine numbered places and dishes and nine letter descriptions or bits of information and you match them. Order your <laughs> answers, and I'll put this in the chat. Order your answers number then letter please, such as 86, piece and there is one multiple choice question for number 10. So you're going to get a list of numbers, a list of letters, you match them and uh, then there's a multiple choice for number 10. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So then I go to the page that has all of these listed. Walmart. The answers. And of course. Yeah, post the answers. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it really fun. Yeah, it'll be a real quick round then. 
would, that would be great. We'll catch up then. <laughs> we'll be like Jeopardy. We Don't need to ask the question. The two Talk words amongst... that are merged together. Oh, sorry. Talk amongst yourselves. It's Why? Five and Trump. two. Five Rescue and two. Pile. Just try to stop us. How many, how many letters <laughs> are you having? Do the letters match the numbers? Like 10 letters and 10 numbers? Nine and nine. <laughs> nine and nine. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So the nations, uh, the, the nations are, and the nations and the dishes are. What does that look one, like the answers? One, Colombia, and the dish is Changwa. Two, Canada, a bloody Caesar. Three, South Korea, Kong Namul Gukpap. Uh, four, Czech Republic, Utupenchi, or C. I'm sorry, I don't speak that language. United States of America, Loco Moco. Italy, Midnight Spaghetti. Uh, Puerto Rico, San Cocho. Mexico, Vuelve a la Vida. Uganda, Katogo. Okay, so those are the one through nine. And then the things to which you will be attempting to match them are listed here. The descriptions, right? Bunch. Zoom tight. Zoom tight. Excuse me. Okay. Well, you know, we've had a, we've had yeah, a problem right before. Right with right too much we've we've had a are. problem before with too much information um, not fitting in. So here they are. Um, a, a is a combination of uh, vodka and those other elements listed there. <clears throat> B, your choice for B is poached eggs in milk and some other items there. Your choice uh, C, description C is 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 a pickled item and for anyone who is hung over right now i do apologize if any of this is turning your stomach further than it already <laughs> has turned um should, should someone use the mute on everyone no i like i like hearing <laughs> she's okay with it d she likes the background is, noise. is bean sprouts in an anchovy kelp broth. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Just what one needs on a Sounds day, delicious. The, the morning after. Well, don't forget about the spring onions. Oh, yes, that makes all the difference. No, e is uh, a, a, just a showcase of, you know, of all of these wonderful things. And of course, topped off with uh, goat or cow <laughs> offal. <laughs> which are intestines or stomach, you know. The, <sighs> this would keep you from getting drunk. I mean, these, are, these are to discourage you from drinking too yeah. much in the first place. I think, think so. so. Like, and well, that's the surefire sure way. Oh, it's sort of like cod that. liver oil, you know. Mm. F, F Don't tell your parents you're sick. <laughs> it's a wonderful fish dish. G is, um, is a wonderful. stroke of midnight. You throw together a particular dish and there are clues you don't have to just randomly guess there, there there are little things here which hopefully will give you clues as to the uh geographical location h is uh, was invented at the lincoln grill and you can read that description there and this one this one has yucca and all kinds of things in it and yeah it's all of them okay and then question number 10 is the multiple choice which is according to the johns hopkins web page wait a minute karen nine doesn't end it looks like it's not the whole thing is that not true oh yeah there's a comma and it doesn't keep oh, going okay Thank you very much. Okay, let me delete this and go back to because it makes all the difference. Yucca. Let's see. Potatoes. And potatoes. yucky potatoes. <laughs> that, sh that should be. <clears throat> Why is that not appearing? Hmm. Doesn't well, we're going like to have to. 
we're going to have to leave it at that because I cut off the, I cut off the uh, potato. Let me see if I have it down here. Potato. Yes, sir. Yuck. Uh, yeah, there it is something, something after that. I'll, I'll give it to you all later in the, in the, um, it's not chat. that important, I guess. Yeah. It's not octopus or something, right? Yeah. You're screwed <laughs> if you don't have the other ingredient. I'm just sorry about that. Can you say what it is? No, I'm going to have to look it up for you. It got cut off. Oh, okay. Okay, so then number 10 is, um, if you look at, uh, according to the John Hopkins webpage, what advice do they recommend for a hangover once you have one? Uh, uh, Roman numeral one, a small amount of alcohol, AKA a hair of the dog that bit you. Uh, Roman number, number two, acetaminophen, otherwise no, Tylenol is the most popular. Uh, Roman numeral three, recipes that combine such ingredients as eggs, raw fish, Tabasco, and or sausage. Uh, Roman numeral four, all of the above. Roman numeral five, none of the above. What okay, about Reiki? I, I will give you the rest of those uh, <laughs> ingredients, what comes after a potato, in the comments. So look at the top of your page. Hmm? Yeah. So look at the okay. top of your page uh, later on, and I will give that to you while you're in your sessions in case it makes a difference. Okay. Great. Okay. Any it. questions? Very clever. Does Taco rooms. Bell count for number 12? Go to your rooms. <laughs> Go to your rooms. You have the powers. Oh, I'm sending you to your rooms. Okay. Bye-bye. And I need to put Jim in factor dim in five. Okay. Bye. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's 2A. Uh, otherwise, I'd have to re reread and start guessing. <laughs> um, All right. Thank you. I was just curious. About I, that. He was okay. probably like a psychic checking up on you. I was wondering if it's Thomas, Thomas actually, John. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas John checking up on you, Susan. You can put anything yeah. on. As we know, you can put anything you want on the Zoom screen. Anyway. Somehow, somehow, even though I'm not much of a drinker, I, I ran across the information that uh, the Bloody Caesar was something like A. So go with 2A two, two for one answer. <laughs> somebody writing these down? You should probably have the, uh, somebody screen share and put the answers and then we can move yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. Not I. Uh, anyway, I will. Uh, um, okay, I will do that. Then. I. I'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna cut. A popular and paste hangover stew found throughout Central and South America is probably for Colombia. Oh, the why do you say that? You're yeah. just guessing. He says he thought he read it somewhere or something. Oh, 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 oh. So, 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 so two A. I remember vaguely reading that the Bloody Caesar was a, was invented in Canada, involved climatic. Oh, you're so saying it. you're saying Canada is I. Two A. Two, oh, is, two, two, two would be A. Oh, okay. That, I thought you were talking about the other one. All right. Yeah. Two A, created in 1969. It features um, yeah. horseradish, vodka, hot sauce, Worcestershire, sire sauce, and a large splash of briny. Okay. Well, yeah, that it's would be Worcestershire. Worcestershire sire sauce wouldn't be in like Colombia. Yeah. But I could see it in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, that, so two, yeah, yeah, so two, a, yeah, so two would be a. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing okay. this in my text file. I'll post it in a minute. Okay. Well, I've got my own spreadsheet here. I'm using. So eggs poached. Okay, so eggs poached in milk and topped with chopped colander and, colander and cubes of stale bread called colado. Form the stewy, soupy breakfast item. Colado. Okay, now she says there's clues in these. Colado. That sounds Spanish. Eggs poached in milk. The one that says Lincoln, I'd like to use that for the USA because Lincoln is a, a American president. Well, that's like that's, that's what I was wondering. That, that uh, it's a hint. That, well, it's telling you if that's the case. It's like, right, that's why that's I take that as a hint. But I could be wrong if someone knows better. Excuse what number me? was that at? Where, I'm sorry, what letter was that? 
Um, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, that sounds very American. A hamburger patty for eggs. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. I'd like to tell you, in case you didn't see the broadcast, I continued is in the chat here. Pumpkin, chayote, corn, plantains. The dish illustrates the influence of African cuisine. So that is, that was an important uh, Okay, addition. so after the word potatoes is pumpkin. Okay, That's thank fine. you. You're welcome. Have fun. Okay. So that goes on time. Oh, so it's, it's H, H was that uh, Lincoln Grill. Could that be? Could that be a trick? A tr oh, well, she's not into trick questions. I don't think. Yeah, she kind of is. Um, okay, so the one that has plant plant plantains, corn, pumpkin, and it says it influences the African illustrates the influence of an African cuisine. So it's not from Africa. So I have a feeling it's Uganda. Um, where, where, do you find, where do you find, what do you find pumpkin all over the world? Or Colombia. Is, is, you know, is, I don't know. Oh, thanks, there you go. So which one is five? Um, okay, so she just added right now, Right, I added that on there. Pumpkin, it's number I, letter I. I added it already. See down here. Oh pumpkin. yeah, you sure did. Okay, very I did. good, Kevin. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to move H up to the United States one. Okay. Because it says Lincoln. Loco Moco, though that sounds like something would be a. Wow, I don't know. Well, loco, okay, well, loco moco has has a rather Spanishy sound. So, uh, so, so somewhere in the south southwest of you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Lincoln Grill, a mound of steaming white rice, top of the hamburger patty, fried eggs, and a rich meat gravy. That could be loco moco. Crazy. Uh, it could also be Mexican mm. or Puerto Rican. Okay, so. So it, it, explain to me the, the names like. Uh, like it says, Italy midnight spaghetti, and then it's an explanation. You have to find exactly what which it is. one is. Yeah, that's that in what's Italy. It's called midnight ingredient? spaghetti, and the recipe is A through I or whatever. Okay. So all right, description. So I if it, I is a Central and South American and islands. So and it's got and it's got an African cuisine. So in other words, it's it's a lot of Africans there. So of these places, Uganda is the only one that fits. Number letter nine. Uganda number is nine. not a South American country. Uganda, Uganda is not. It's Africa. Uganda is in Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was uh, probably Puerto uh, Rico or okay. Colombia, and I think it's probably Puerto Rico. The, Puerto uh, Rico. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, Puerto uh, Rico sounds. They have a they have a African influence, right? More than Colombia? Uh, your choices are South Korea, Czech Republic, Italy, Mexico, Uganda. And Mexico is sort of. Mexico is. Yeah, it, I think it could be either Mexico or Puerto Rico. Which one is well, more African? Is there influence? another? Is it I think it's Puerto Rico. I don't think of a Puerto Rico as being African. Well, influenced. Influ well, even influenced. Well, of all um, the others, that's what I'm thinking. That would be the. Yeah, I don't think of either of them really as being uh, African influenced. Well, it can't be Italy or Czech Republic or South Korea. Um, you think Colombia is. I'm trying to think of what what language Hey. The Hajigagak <laughs> sounds like. I was thinking one of the Nord Nordic languages, but maybe Korean. Which one oh, are you looking D? at? D. What? D is in dog. Yeah. So, so you've got this uh, word that's translated as hangover soup, and I was trying to think what. Uh, oh. Well, yeah. there's anchovy and kelp, so it must be something near the water. Yeah. Okay. So it says. Yeah. So. Yeah, so South Korea. So 3D, you think 3D? 3D? 
I just put it up there. South Korea? Um, yeah, because it's got to be near water, the ocean, and it's got to have some kind of... Weird... Look at that. Let's look at the spelling of the word. Yeah, I think I'm thinking right. at, at the beginning, I thought Scandinavian, but the end really looks like a, a, a South Asia, Southeast Asia. No. So, this, so... So I got it wrong? I got it right. You got it right. Yeah. Okay, this, this one here is about fish and seafood. Which one? Mexico. This... Seafood shrimp, they have they have a octopus. drink that they have a some kind of a cocktail thing with shrimps in it. If nothing else says shrimps, then that's the answer. So F midnight uh, Mexico is F. So we're we're running out of selections here. Good, which is good. Um, oh, and and at some point we have to we have to think what's the most likely. Hangover cure for uh, in number ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, number E has got goats and cows and plantations, bananas, and it's using intestines and stomach. So it's why don't we go with number Columbia. that for nine? That sounds like it could be nine. Sorry, where where is all this? I've lost all these things here. Where where um. This is the one I'm talking about, number nine. You see no, that? You don't no, have I, think it's, I think it's Columbia. Well, what, what happened to okay, all the Uganda? Um, They're all right here. E the ones South above are, are what's left. We've already assigned some. Oh, okay. okay. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, I assigned them above. So all right. I think that um, E sounds like Uganda, the, 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 the country's staple crop. A you green think? banana akin to a plantain sounds like Uganda to me. Okay. Um, now, somewhere, somewhere in, uh, yeah, okay, I was, yeah. Uh, can anybody think of a good reason to put it to another country? No, I, I like your logic on that. I like your logic on that. Yeah. The only other thing is Puerto Rico could have plantains too. But cows and goats, well, Puerto Rico isn't really known for its cow thing. I mean, I'm sure they have some, but let's see. What are we left with? Pickles. Do I have everything for G? Does someone have the, because um, it looks like something might be missing. I think it's it. It's not much. Cure throbbing head. So that could be anything. Okay, C, the pickles one. I would go with uh, Czech Republic on that one. Yeah, that sounds good because- Because it's, in, it's, it's near it's, Russia and Poland. It's what's left over. So now we've got G and I left. B, G and I. And we've got Colombia, Italy, and Puerto Rico. I like G for Italy. Let me read it. Just, I like the way it sounds. Well, that's the one with the least information. Midnight spaghetti. Oh. Because yeah, spaghetti yeah, is right. kind of Italian. Yeah. Midnight spaghetti. Okay. At the stroke of midnight. Okay. There's a hint. Hint midnight and midnight. Yeah, the stroke. See what I mean? It says midnight yeah. here, and then it says midnight here. Okay, so we are left with the stew and the eggs, eggs. poached in milk. Okay, what is left? We've got. I like this because colado sounds like it could be Puerto Rican. Yeah, we don't have a. We don't have Puerto Rico. Yeah, I think this is Puerto and Rico. Colombia. Well, we got Colombia and Puerto Rico to go with. Yeah, I think number letter I is Colombia. Okay, I'm fine with those choices. Yeah, because I, I don't I'm really know, but team. yeah, that's okay. You're doing your best. Hey. Besides, I, I don't think Puerto Rico counts as Central America, does it? No, but the hint fits. Just say islands. No, no, no. So I'm saying that's why uh, it, 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 it is the Central America one. Right. The, the... But this all... So, I mean, so I know if you're in Central and South, then it has to be uh, Colombia. Okay, so what do they do for 10?
It could be all of the above, or I'm guessing all of the above, or just number, letter two. Okay, I'm ready. One. Yeah. And Puerto Rico is um, eggs, eggs poached, poached in milk topped with chopped coriander, cubes of stale bread called colado. Oh, we better get the last one. Hurry up. We got two minutes. I like either acetaminophen by itself or all of the above, because I don't think it's none of the above. Why would you have small amount of alcohol? Yeah. Oh, I've heard that a bit of the dog, hair of the dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But uh, but but would the John Hopkins recommend it? Um, no, well, I, I I've always heard that part of part of the reason for hangover is the is the dehydration. So just drinking lots of water is going to mitigate the problem. But I think it's all of the above. Yeah. Because I could see. Yeah. Okay. Even though we know from the Skeptoid podcast that none of them really work, but well, they 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 did this. They 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 came up with this while they were drunk. Uh, I well, think if none of them really work. Then we should say none of the above, and they, they they'll tell you drink plenty of water. Well, what would they recommend? Plenty of water. Okay, I don't know. You guys decide. What do you think? I go with none. Okay. V. But more important, I go to the washroom. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll go with none. Turn off your, turn off your... Okay, so we did it. Good job. We got it. Good job, guys. I think we got a 10. Okay. <laughs> Wishful thinking. <laughs> That's kind of all right. <laughs> okay, we'll even break out. Come back. Our team did well, we think. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Worked. Yay. Magic. Karen. Karen. Yes. Don't forget, we're being what? recorded. So I just. <laughs> <laughs> okie dokie artichokies um you guys weren't expecting that so that's why i did it so thank you for um thank you for wrestling with that so which one was the anagram <laughs> that was fun karen Yay. I hope, I hope you. and and uh and uh, I heard a lot of interesting things. We will dispel some myths here. Oh, here's somebody new. Bob uh, playing the, it's Bob. Okay, great. So, uh, boy, I wish I could see you and my screen at the same time, I mean, my uh, source document at the same time. Okay, number one, Columbia, that is B. Eggs poached in milk and topped with chopped coriander, cubes of stale bread called caldo, and it forms a stewy, soupy breakfast item. Oh, so, we got that wrong. One Is was that supposed to be an emetic or a cure? So uh, the, <laughs> these are all potentially, these are all uh, allegedly um, hangover. Useful information to keep in mind for as a hangover cure and i put little quotation marks around cures we'll say more about that at the end okay so um what about canada number two what one was that did you get uh a the blood the the uh bloody caesar is hey. actually straight of course it's a nine vodka horseradish <laughs> hot sauce, wish you share. A? A? the difference between a bloody mary and a bloody caesar is a splash of the bliny clamato Alan, yeah. I'm sorry. What did you say? A. It's A. Auto. Yeah. A. 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 Thank you for catching catch that. There's the clue, um, guys. Yeah. She said I've actually clue. had, I've I've had um Caesar a Caesar's, and it's actually pretty good if you just take out the alcohol. But um, it's the the weird clamato juice is the weirdest thing to me. It's it's cl clam juice in tomato. tomato juice. I don't yeah. know why. Were you hung over at the time, Avi? 
No, I'm not sure who thought of the idea to try to uh, the clam. Makes a great Manhattan clam chowder, the clamato juice. Oh, it sounds disgusting, but that's okay. And so what about number three? Number three, what nation did that belong to? This, um, this is actually uh, for South Korea D. This is one of the oh, most yeah. popular varieties of hangjakbuk hangover soup. It's a tangle of bean sprouts, spring onion, sliced chili, and a light anchovy kelp broth. My son is oh. there drinking it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, what about in the Czech Republic? Well, if you'll notice in one of them, it talks about pickling uh, in, a certain part of, in a certain part of the world. Good so job, there was team. a little clue there. And the answer is C. Pickles. C Pickles have long been viewed as a hangover cure in some regions. In Russia and Poland, for instance, drinking shots of pickle brine has been said to cure a throbbing head and aching body. To make this dish, soak pre-cooked pork sausages and onions in a mixture of vinegar, bay leaves, salt, and other pickling spices for about a week until yeah. it's tangy enough to revive you. So you must be planning to over drink and be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be responsible enough. Just make a to... batch every day. Just yeah, if you have yourself. a batch exactly. made every day. <laughs> this have, this oh my God. You make it, then you, then the you sell it to all those people who are it having says it. says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, that's how you prepared. make money there. Do not drink before. <laughs> now, what about Thirsty this? Thirsty Thursday. What about this United States, the Loco Moco? It is, in fact, it was invented at the Lincoln Yay! Grill. It's a mound of hot, steaming white rice piled with a hamburger patty, fried eggs, and rich meat gravy. Now, this is in Hawaii, and people were talking about the origin of the name. So, loco moco, yes, loco in Spanish means crazy, but the deal, the joke is, if you look at it, right, with this gravy all over it, moco, loco in Spanish means crazy, moco means um, mucus. A dried, dried mucus, right? Burgers. And in in Hawaii, for burger, they also they often say they don't have the R. They say booger, booger, booger. So it was a play on words. Loco, oh. loco, like a crazy burger. We learned so much in this trivia, right? Game. My so gosh. there are different different origin stories about that, but that is one of them. If anyone cares to know that, next time I'm on CNN, I'm going to find a way of working that into the conversation. Next okay, time has there been a first time? <laughs> now, <laughs> how am I going to do that? I don't know. That's now, awesome. what about what about um, number six, the Italian? What is that? Well, that was G. If drinking and you still have your wits about you at the stroke of midnight throw this together it's believed to help absorb excess alcohol in the body it doesn't but um and <laughs> yeah you have to wait till 1201 these, these can't care. be real these aren't real are they so I mean, these are the, again these are popular hangover quote cures oh, quote, okay you know it's a bit of wives tales uh, well let's not insult wives this is yes. uh, tails. These are just tails. We'll call it. Maybe it was wives wisdom. torturing their drunken nor, husbands. Nor any animals with tails. Don't insult. But again, I tried remedy. To, the old old husband tail. Old remedy. <laughs> I tried to give you um, a little hints in all of these. The stroke of midnight. You know. Good job. Okay. I, that this, means it causes a stroke. And this one. <laughs> and this one again. I heard some people talking about it. I tried to give you clues in there. Um, for what was the one, the one, the Puerto Rico, it is in fact, I, a popular hangover stew found throughout, now listen here, folks that said Puerto Rico is not in Central and South America, a popular hangover stew found throughout Central and South America and the islands in the nearby seas. Aha. Uh -huh. So it does fit. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's usually uh, features beef along with a bounty of starchy vegetables and yucca, um, I've lost it now. Potatoes, Potatoes pumpkin. pumpkin. Continue reading, please. Seriously. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to spell, say that word. Coyote. coyote. Corn and plate dead, plantation. Dead coyote. The dish illustrates an influence of African cuisine. Thank you very much. Because my, uh, my chat just leapt back up to the top. Mm -hmm. So thank you for continuing that. You're very welcome. Okay. Well. And thank you again to Rob for noticing that there was the comma and part of it was cut off because 
the illustration of African cuisine uh, was important. Well, anybody who knows Rob, who's had him proofread your stuff, he pays a lot of attention to commas. I yeah. appreciate and, I'm a, and that's friend. one of the many reasons Very why detailed. I'm a fan of the Oxford comma. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, Oxford commas. Yay, I love Yay, Oxford commas. Somebody introduce Me Susan. Yay. Eats, shoots, and leaves. Yes. <laughs> I have that somewhere. <laughs> I do too. Okay. So um, there was quite a bit of discussion about the one from Mexico. And it is F. This dish features assorted seafood such as shrimp, oysters, and octopus in a chilled spicy tomato sauce with lime designed to jolt you back to reality. And I think, Zeke, are you the one that was pointing out that joy, jolting you back to reality? Who was that was saying that's important? I no, it wasn't me. I pointed it out to my... Um, Wendy, Wendy. Yeah. So because that's uh, coming back to life, right? So if you know yeah. any Spanish, uh, that was the hint there. Vida. Yeah. Oh, Wendy and I get confused oh. all the time. No, no, I just well, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking at the screen. I just heard it. We're both in South South. Yeah. So Carolyn pointed that out to us, but we didn't listen to her. So yeah. Carolyn they said, I can, can I close now? Can yes, I she can now. Throw a book at Okay. Please close. Please. <laughs> okay. So number nine, Uganda. Right. That was E. 9E, this showcases the country's staple crop, a green banana akin to a plantain. It yeah. is cooked and either left whole or mashed mm -hmm. and then topped with a spiced stew of either goat yeah. or cow offal, usually intestines and stomach. Okay. It's awful. It, it is. Okay. So then what was the answer about, you know, all of those? Is it uh, a hair of the dog that bit you, acetaminophen, uh, certain recipe ingredients, all of the above or none of the above? The answer is none of the above. Yes. yes. In really? Fact, in yes. fact, I know you all probably don't tie one on and get all hung over all the time. Which is why we're it, here. <laughs> acetaminophen, Tylenol, or here. any acetaminophen can overtax your already hardworking liver, yep. which has already undergone harm from the excessive booze. Don't take Tylenol if you're hung over or if you drink a lot. Um, taking in lots of water, Deborah knew this, mm -hmm. taking in lots of water or broth is helpful as some of the symptoms are caused by dehydration. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. Yet, according to John Hopkins, quote, the very best prevention for a hangover, don't drink. The yes. best cure, time. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Karen, on, on John, number eight, on Hopkins. number eight, did you see the, did you write that like a, with the, the musical link? Was that a hint? Number eight? Back to life, back to reality. The song I, kind of I, fits I did, there. I, I did not. Oh, okay. Okay, I did it. So but here is the link. She didn't. So here she did is it the subliminally. link. subliminally. Okay, Kevin, I'm going to go back to my thing now. Thank you. Here is a, a thank you while. for that. Here is a She's link. Do anything. I'm almost done. Here Just is a link. Early. If, you want, if you want to check out the hangover cures, <laughs> Don't shoot, right? Sorry. And then the link to John Hopkins is very informed. I mean, I, I want to say seriously. If, I mean, I drink, I don't over drink now, but I used to over drink. It's, it has some really useful information. We've socialized alcohol and it, it, it offers some good medical information that can help us be very smart with our alcohol use. And it is based on medical science. The end, thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, I, prefer my, Karen. I prefer my um, uh, medical stuff to be based on superstition and um, <laughs> uh, hand waviness. I think it's a great you're, idea. you're gonna have trouble with the next category then because i'm up <laughs> okay so we are going to get our scores how about that and you guys can all yell at me if these are all messed up but they're not at the moment it looks like we're doing okay so we're gonna go with we didn't kill the pope or barbara 10 <laughs> and i know what we would have had if you guys had we hadn't reversed that one uh yeah we eight. who we got eight eight there you go and meet the flockers and the non-flockers seven and then let's go small dicky energy seven and this german worm that says happy new year seven. <laughs> ten slide seven. into the new year seven Wait, no. seven 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 seven, seven. seven. Yeah. no seven point yeah. eight hey go team yeah, good all right yeah, go team. Good job, Karen. 
Average is 7.8. Okay, now this is the point where everybody puts on their nice, put on their lipstick. We're going to take a group photo. Photo. <laughs> There's actually a way using Zoom to put on lipstick. Yeah, that's yeah not on my computer. But then uh, Terry had it one. once and it stuck on her forever. Yeah. And every time she moved to the side, it was awful. Go ahead, Abby. <laughs> put on the lipstick. <laughs> I do that on my work computer, but I Robert, can't on? do it on this one. You can't move very much. Oh, it's funny when you do, though. Oh. No, okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Yep, you knew here. <laughs> we have our, our musical musical interlude. Yeah, let me just put this on here real quick. I'm gonna make sure I've saved it before anybody goes in. Okay, so this is our break. We're gonna take five minute break, and then we're coming back to do three, four, and five. Um, um, the musical interlude. Interlude. Yeah. Now, we'll do that now, while we're going on a break, go for it. We're recording too. Just do it over and over on a loop throughout the break. Hey, but I got it. A musical got it. interlude by. All right. I probably have time to do this. So did Michael leave? Yeah, he was having audio or uh, video problems. I guess he never came back. But um, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna. Yeah, make we told him we don't stuff. like people from New Jersey, and he left. His name oh. Is oh. I resemble that <laughs> remark. Ah, <laughs> uh, look at that. Oh. Yes, brought to you by the group Music Minus One because there's a bass player in it. That's right. <laughs> Go eat. So how did Avi get all the way over to Chicago to play that and then get all the way back to Germany? Did you see the date on it? Yeah, I know. I've, yes. <laughs> oh, was there a date on there? I didn't even look. And it said shared from another date or something, like 2019 yeah. or something. It was probably, no, it was before I'm... Play it again. Before I moved to Canada, it had to be. So. I thought it said 219. Play it again. That was very <laughs> nice. Very nice. So, Kevin. Yeah. Are you there? So, um, last on Thursday, you um, called out the name of Kevin Bacon to find out if he owns a tequila company. And so I, I looked it up and no, he doesn't. He doesn't own any kind of alcohol company. And, a, and I didn't find that he owns any kind of business at all um he must own the game kevin six degrees of kevin bacon he <laughs> does actually he does actually own a a game of some kind regarding that, that phenomenon of six degrees um but so but there are there are articles about the ridiculous number of celebrities who own alcohol companies but i couldn't find anything about kevin bacon owning anything at all. I, I think there's a lot more that don't that do, but there are a lot. Well, of, of course, I was exaggerating in yeah, that, yeah. Joke, but um, but yeah, there's there are a ridiculous number of people who are invested in uh, the alcohol business. Um, but yeah, I don't find him owning anything except he has invested in some way in this and uh, in this uh, six degrees phenomenon. Uh, all in fun, of course, and but I think that's he's something into a charity of some kind. Some people don't consider Kevin Bacon an actor anyway, so it's it's doesn't matter. Hi gang, it's just not kosher. That's right. 
<laughs> Hi, Susan. Um, so my question of uh, removing the battery from the computer, is that an okay thing to do or will that really? That's it's fine. fine. That's yeah. No problem with okay. that. Yeah. I mean, you, you may want to, you know, oh. shut it down first. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and, and don't do it in the bathtub. <laughs> well, no. Hi, everybody. Look, Mark's here. He says, Hi, Mark. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy, 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 Happy Who Near. Happy Who Near. I hope you're having a Happy wonderful Happy New day. Year. What, so far, what better so way good. could there be to start the new year? I can't think of another thing, really. Not another way. This is the best way to have a nice Happy New Year with your chicken. And a chicken, too. <laughs> have fun, guys. I think Good to see you, Mark. Do you call the chicken extra crispy? No, exactly. <laughs> they were going to call it extra. extra last name extra crispy. The chicken. <laughs> it just it kind of fits him. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I would be really interested to know what, what the owner of the chicken who previously owned it called him. Mm. Aaron, how do you make the neighbors who... How did you get that chicken? Mark came home walked in the door and said, look what I found. <laughs> Mark was said, stealing chickens from the neighbors. Well, that's, Karen, that's Karen, Karen, Karen says that the neighbors, they're like a block away at the end of my block. And they often put out a table with a sign free and th stuff on it. And so she says they believe in sustainability. Um, they're often giving away their stuff. And I do that well as well at my house too. Anything just goes out to the curb and hopefully somebody takes it. And so she says that they do that often. So she, so the chicken ended up on a table and Mark was driving by and he went by and looked because it's this free. So he's going to stop, of course. And so he went and there was this chicken. He says, that's for Susan. So he brought it in. He had to have two. I had to wash them twice because he was kind of, <clears throat> you know, marginal, but now he's nice and clean. And then when Karen was over here, and we were playing games the other day, we brushed him. What so do you call the one in go, your car? You can go ask your oh neighbors God. what his real name is. Well, Karen knows him. But they work in the cooker. So you need to ask. And so I'm going to make it official. I'm calling him Edgar, I think, now. And that's funny if it's yeah. probably Edgar. Susan? What if he's a girl? I had a, I had a, I had a chicken named Edgar. I, it was a, I thought it was a girl, but it was an Easter Edgar. So I called him Edgar because he was an Easter Egger. And then he wasn't a girl. So I gave him to a neighbor who wanted a rooster. He was very aggressive. This is a rooster, right? <laughs> what? I don't know. You have to he's, look he's, in the right he's got place. A small, he can go either way. He so that could be a way. rooster or a him? Small... <laughs> well, Roosters have a bit larger homes, but some hens have pretty large. You go either way. Is this a gender fluid chicken? Like an apron? I think it looks like a guy. I, I thought it was a His guy. His face looks like a guy. It does. Yeah. He's got a bow tie. Look. It's got sort of a masculine look to it. It's him. a non binary chicken. A non binary. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody here is well, a chicken sex. What is this? How long are his tail feathers? Only as a hobby. Ah, okay. How long, how long are the, let me see the back end. Let me see the tail feathers. I'm showing you. That's a tag. It's, yeah, see, even there, that's, that's a little small for a rooster, but it's a pretty good sized tail for a head. So, yeah, he he might've just molted. So. <laughs> I, I thought you could tell, like right away, one looked like a hen and one looked like a. Unless it's a non binary right chicken. They're, they're. There are varieties of chicken that are called sex link, and you can tell by looking at the chick that the coloration or the, the markings are different between a male and female. <laughs> Every other breed, they're, they look exactly the same, and you have chicken sexers who grab a chicken in each hand, flip them over, look at the, the business end, and then say male, female, and they go really fast. It's very highly paid because it's a very highly skilled. Bob, you just gave away five answers to my category. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Chicken is not non-binary. Is it quantum? The, the, the guys had big combs and they had little bow ties. 
not no, non-binary is not related to quantum in any way. They just have cones. Size doesn't matter. I'm going to Max is well, not quantum small computers dick are energy non-binary. At life. Oh, com. <laughs> All right, so we're back from our five minute break or so. Thank you for that interlude, Avi and Alan. That was oh, he did put on the lipstick. <laughs> Who put the lipstick on? <laughs> where, where, where? I can't find him. Yeah. Oh, Avi he does have lipstick on. Where? Look to the yeah. side, Avi. Oh, Very I see him. him. No, turn your head. It's staying on his, it's staying there. Well, that looks weird. Except his cheeks, the cheeks go on to the top of his nose. All right. So we don't have any podcasters here today. Adrian, you happen to know what's going on with uh, um, Skeptic Zone? I haven't listened to it, but I know we have Stephen Bavero is going to be on it. He was on it last night. Yeah. <laughs> he released one yesterday. Yeah. So Adrian's um, on Skeptic Zone, and she's going to fill us in with what's going on with there. While I eat my cookie. all I know is that Richard and I are going to do something together based on something Rob posted in the chat with the Wikipedia skeptic link that he's put in there. So we don't know exactly what it is yet, but we are going to do something together this week. So that's kind of fun. But next, but the one that just uh, released today, the one that released yesterday, yeah, uh, Australian New Year's time. <laughs> yeah that that's with steven uh, bavero and there's a trove and he does a sort of a summary of the year and there's one other thing i can't remember what it was terrible i have nothing coming up except unless you're in, able to come to monterey county and this next three sunday saturdays i'm having a workshop for the very first time and then the, uh, Western New York group in CFI in the Buffalo area is going to be doing something the same probably a few days after me. So that should be interesting. That's coming up. I'm still working on my book. I'm getting close. Yesterday, I spent the entire day on Jeanette Wilson from New Zealand, and that was phenomenal. I have no idea. It was incredible, the stuff that I had forgotten that had happened, and she was just, oh, my God. So anyway, I wrote that chapter. It's pretty much done i mean I, it, obviously i gotta go back and add like 50 comma commas to make ha rob happy uh, but <laughs> and fix typing things but as far as the content's done that page is that chapter's done i'm really getting close i've got um i don't know three to write probably i've got 30 chapters and i've just got about three to write and then everything else needs to be fussed on i'm excited about getting the chapter done so, so susan Yes, I, I would I would like to share something that uh, a friend related. of mine. Uh, no, not comma related. Right, cool. uh, that uh, a friend of mine, Leanne Lord, posted to Facebook. Oh, yeah, uh, I saw that. Go ahead. That is so that good. Was yeah. good. That it's was so really everyone good. I assume has heard of the serenity prayer. Mm -hmm. This is a version of it. May the new year grant you the serenity to accept <laughs> the things you cannot change the disposable income to change the things you can and the legal representation to know the difference. Very well done. Yep. I'm hoping the year of 2023, <clears throat> year of accountability. That's what I'm thinking of. It. <laughs> I want to start seeing some accountability in a lot of areas. <laughs> yes. So with that wish, let's move on. So our third candidate today for, for vying for teams we are all tied up, and I will show you the screen really quick again. Here's where we are right now. It's <coughs> going to be closer. Look, I mean, it could be closer, but not much closer. That is very tight. Pretty darn close. Look at that. One at 15, two at 14, and two at 13. I'm, I'm impressed. Wow. So let's see what we got here. So our third candidate, <coughs> oops, I got to hit the right button, is going to be Robert Palmer. And he's supposedly on the screen somewhere. There he is. I'm going to make him co-host. Supposedly. Yeah, supposedly. Well, you don't know. I don't know. You're being quiet when I was talking about commas. So I thought well, maybe se semicolons have... is really your problem, but that's another story. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't know the difference. Anyway, so, uh, yes, yeah, so we are going to do something that people may know I'm interested in, informal logical <laughs> fallacies. Commas. Oh, some years ago, I actually made a series at one a week, and I kept it up as the pandemic started and went through, and I didn't miss a week of releasing uh, a, a, an 8 by 11 that I got to put up at work. 
And then I made a Facebook group uh, and I eventually posted them there also. So I have this weekly logical fallacy series. So I'm going to give you 10 from there. I'm going to give you an example of fallacious reasoning and you need to name the specific fallacy. <laughs> So by specific, I mean not non sequitur, because they're all that, which means it doesn't follow being committed. Okay. Mute, please, people. Who's got the mutation uh, powers? Susan needs to give me the power. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Because you've been out and back. Here we go. Yeah. You got it now. Sorry. Sorry, but I'll do it now. Do it now. Come on. Go. Okay. So for the second time today, Susan is part of a clue. This is a quote for Susan to come to a reading and get a two minute reading and say, well, I made a fake post about my dog buddy and my father who died. It's really not any sort of scientific testing of psychic powers. First off, someone will have to be a scientist to do scientific experiments, not someone who used to be a photographer at Sears, says Thomas John. I've heard that before. Okay. Is that is that an actual quote from Thomas? That's an actual, an actual quote, quote. As I'll give you where it's from later. I think it's on the Wikipedia. From the New York Times. New York oh, Times. Oh, this is in the New York Times magazine. Thank you very much. Yeah. So number two. It's obviously stupid to believe that life originally sprang from chemicals and then evolved into all life on Earth. Number three. This is another quote from somebody in actuality, and I will reveal later who this is. We can all do this. We develop our psychic abilities. And my sense of it is the more you're open and the more you develop, it's almost like the higher you're able to perceive or the louder your volume switch is. And that kind of highest level of the highest energy is being able to perceive consciousness in spirit form and be a receptor of that. Number four, due to the danger of global warming denialism, the scientific skepticism movement must avoid being unfittingly distracted by fighting less important forms of pseudoscience, such as flat earth claims. I got that from an article in Skeptical Inquirer from four years ago. So even skeptics use fallacious reasoning. Number five, this is from a different source. Do or do not. There is no try. Little green guy. Number six. Soon after my child was vaccinated, they were diagnosed with autism. Therefore, the vaccines are what caused their autism. Number seven. This is a quote from the aforementioned Richard Saunders on a promo for the Gorilla Skeptics. Crop circles are so intricate and complex that it's not possible for humans to make them and nothing else on earth could. Therefore, they must be of extraterrestrial origin. I believe people are gonna have the biggest trouble with that one, by the way. Number eight, I believe there's a China teapot too small to be detected orbiting the sun between Earth and Mars. If you can't prove I'm wrong, you must acknowledge that the teapot is there. I... Sorry. Number nine. If the government bans teaching creationism in public schools, then they will eventually ban reading the Bible in church. And lastly, a fictitious uh, argument or quotes between uh, two people. So Ames Prampty says, you are a liar and swindler for claiming you could bend spoons with your mind and for getting rich deceiving the public. And then this guy, Jerley Gelder says, you sent in a team of magicians who fooled parapsychology researchers running psi experiments, so you have no right to complain. Those names, by the way, Adrian to figure that out. I'm sure who those people really are. I have okay. a question, Rob. Yes. Uh, so I missed part of the introduction. 
must we know the official word for uh, the type of mm -hmm. thing rather than understanding what the flaw in the logic is and describing it? We have to Yes, know... I, I want names here. Uh, Are you I'll not be, giving I'll, us I'll a list of names? A bit okay. loose, a bit a little loose with the names, but... Uh... Okay. Okay. No. All right. I hope my team knows those. I only know Some, two. <laughs> sometimes they're known by like two different names. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. If Please. you're anything close, I'll give it to you. Okay, thank you. Also, if you know the Latin, that's extra points. Oh, boy. Are you going to give us a list of names? No. Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Who's I've actually got one on? of the Latin ones. Don't make me, don't make me be the one, because I find fallacies like so confusing. I find about four things fit. <laughs> so, okay. Are we ready? Okay. Yeah. Who's sending good, to room? Good New Year's, though. Good New Year's one to have. So we should be up on our fallacies. Who's sending to rooms? You go for it. Vincent, you Vincent are. You. Go to your womb. Okay, Bob playing trivia. You're on team one. Where were you, Bob? Oh, you're on th three. Okay. I will go to three, two also. Right. I think I know some of these. Oh, good. I've got some. You guys will be on this. Uh, well, I'm let's not go. very good with the proper names. Go ahead. Yeah, I think, yeah. <laughs> I should have been watching videos on this stuff for like three years now, so. Okay. Hey, you better be good. I'm watching you. I, one, one is two. I can't figure it out. Too, so stupid. It's obviously stupid to believe. It's, <laughs> it sounds like personal incredulity, but it doesn't come out and say, "I can't." I don't. I can't believe that this. But uh, if we can't think of anything better, I think it's personal incredulity. All we can do is. Three, I don't know. Five is a uh, false dichotomy or black and white, right? Does that sound right? And which one? Five. Is false. Five. False, oh, for yeah, five. False for five. False, false dichotomy. dichotomy. Or yeah, false dichotomy or black and white fallacy. <laughs> the uh, the lat this one I but I don't get all the Latin words. Yeah, post post hoc <laughs> ergo proctor hoc. Yeah. After this, therefore because of this. So post hoc ergo proctor hoc. Bob, can you keep track of these? Yeah, yeah, I, I got, yeah, I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Close talk, I go I can't, I can't seem to spell them right. <laughs> Top circles are so intricate and complex, it's not possible. Um, Good, therefore. That's. Uh, I can't. Number eight. It's about falsifiability. It's not falsifiable, therefore, you have to. You yeah, have to believe. The it. That's the problem: is that I lose the name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not. When I remember teaching. Okay, so nine, I think, is slippery slope. Or nose of the camel. Camel's nose. Yeah, we can put both. Yeah, he'll know what we mean. Or slippery. We can do both slippery slope. I think slippery slope is. So, because if, if you allow this, then this will happen. Right. Yeah. 
an apprentice. So that's James Randi. You're a liar and a swindler yeah. for paying me to bend spoons in your mind and getting rich, right. deceiving, forgetting rich. Isn't it? Gary He's not a human, but did some cool parasite researches. So you have no right to complain. Well, it's not. That's that's like pointing your finger. Um, what's that finger pointing? Two quoque. Uh, two quoque. Is that what two, it's called? Two um, quote, Yes. You you too. You all, it's Latin. Yeah. Okay. Q U Q U O Q U E. Two quote There's a there's an English name for English word for it too. Yeah, I can uh, never. It's, 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 which it's, I can't. I just can't bring to my mind. You know, it's yeah, just yeah. It's you too. It's, it's, you do you do it too. Yeah. Is Susan here with us? What oh, about yeah. what about you or what about them? I'm here. You got a specific like question? Where's Wendy? Yeah. Wendy's on our team? Yeah, yeah, but she's not here. Go get Oh, she her. went to walk the dog. She just was oh. gonna walk him down. Because the I back. think I think she might have given the wrong number of right answers on that are scored. She didn't give the right score, but I'll discuss it when Rob comes back and we can. We might well, need we to correct it. our score. We got six, right? We got six, but she said seven. Oh, well, I don't think we're going to win. <laughs> but um, anyway, um, I I thought when our team came back, we should discuss that. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. For Susan to come that... to a reading and get a two-minute reading and say, well, I made a fake post about my dog, Buddy. And my father who died, it's really not any sort of scientific testing. That is a one half oh. will have to be a scientist to do a scientific experiment. Well, it's, it's the fallacy of scientists that you must be what is it called? Um, okay, authority, argument of authority, or is it the opposite? Because you... it's, it's saying you need to have authority to be able to, yeah, to, to be a valid. So it's not argument from authority, or is it? See, I can argue myself in and out of all of these, and that always confuses yeah, all these me. Like this. Think of think of some names, and then we can identify it. Um, yeah, yeah. Argument of authority, argument ad populum, the popularity argument. Um. Um. um personal incredulity. <laughs> Um, for due to the danger of growth, that's we can't. It's false, and okay. It's a bad analogy. Number three is a bad analogy, or <laughs> what is that? Where you we can you... all do this? We develop us, and okay, wait. <laughs> and then um. And then um, uh, what's the, the personal attack? Ad hominem. Ad hominem. Ad hom Ad hominem. hominem. For which one? Yeah, is that in there? Is there one in there? Is for, I don't Susan know. We're just. Oh, at Ad hominem. Susan's which ones are we missing? We have. We got two, five, five six, nine, right? nine, and ten. What are we and we're looking for? for um, what do we say for two? I didn't write it down. Personal incredulity. Uh, personal incredulity. Okay, that's the best I could. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the name of it. I was looking for ad hominem. Ad hominem. Ad hominem? That's well, you're wrong. Do we have it as an ad hominem there. I don't think is it's Susan's, in here. Is, is Susan's <laughs> ad hominem? Ad hominem. For number one. With, um. Yeah, in other words, you're not a scientist. You're a. There's uh, no. something more. I still think it's the argument from 
the opposite of whatever would be the argument from authority that only a person in authority can make can make can do that's a, uh <laughs> where you're belittling oh, no. someone else i i don't think it's a great and and ad hominem is more like and you're stupid too you know right yeah, yeah and i you know, don't see that really, in there your reasoning is bad because you're stupid yeah, so yeah. I'm, not even answer, you, I'm not gonna even i'm not gonna even address it because you're so dumb like that but, you know, if we don't get anything else, we can put that down because it kind of is an ad hominem. Well, he is. He's saying he is insulting me by saying you're only a photographer. And I didn't even work <laughs> yeah. in Sears. So I know. Pennies, he didn't which is quite a, get it right. Now, that you? is an ad hominem because the person who worked at Penny's to be told that you worked at Sears you, was like you, fight you, words. You know? you, you, if, if he doesn't accept our answer, you argue that. You say, hey. I can I was, make an ad hominem there. attack. I was there, Palmer. I'll call him an ad hominem. Um, I mean, <clears throat> so number eight is it's it's saying if it's not falsifiable, you have to believe it. Yeah. So number so eight. So what's that? Yeah. Whereas is it is it God or the gaps? Let me think. No. No, it's 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 it it's if you can't disprove it, then it has to be true. Well, then that's but, God of the gaps, except they're not. No, it's not. No, it's not about God. No. It's. Oh man, this is really frustrating. Yeah, I should know. If I have yeah, because if I have yeah, it's frustrating here, to me up. because I don't name. I identify, but I don't spend much time memorizing the names. Yeah. <laughs> because so many of them come in in Latin and let's see. And I had Latin in the fifth grade. Half circles are so intricate and complex. It's not possible for me to make another It's good. It's not appeal you know, of authority. It's 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 defecting to authority or something. <clears throat> we, we, is three a false analogy? Is that is that one? Oh, false analogy is a good. Good choice. Let's it see. Says, it's almost <laughs> able to perceive a louder volume switch that kind of highest level of highest energy. So he's, he's doing a, a not, making an a analogy with a electronic switch. The so volume, you're saying false, false what? Analogy. False analogy. Is that it? Uh, let's see. That would be as we, Wendy. Oh, there's Wendy. She'll, she'll fix this. Yeah, but you're on mute, Wendy. Yeah. There. I'm sorry. I had to take Jackie out. Yeah. Okay. Look, let's go down. See if there's anything that you know. Yep. You solidly know and let us know. Because we're kind of guessing. Okay. Um, is it on the chat? Yeah. Okay, I don't see it on my chat. Are you on a computer? I thought that could was your computer. Do we have to watch the fallacy cherry picking? <laughs> yeah, I'm on my iPad, and and it and that's uh, oh. oh, it won't it won't transfer it over. No. Mm -mm. Um, and I don't. <clears throat> I've got it on my computer, but I can't. Well. Screen share. Uh, well, a second. Okay. Do this. Control C. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, take that down. There's a breakout rooms. Breakout rooms. All right, I'm going to come into the breakout room on my computer. 
and then I will. Um, I can copy and paste them if. Yeah, just a minute. Um, all right, go up and go chat. Okay. Is three appeal to a higher power? Or All right. uh, did he do was or did he do uh logical fallacies? Yes. Hmm. Okay. I know some of them, not all of them. All I right. mean not okay. all right. right. of them. Out. Yeah. What which ones are we missing, you guys? Three, four, seven, and eight. Okay, I've got it, but I won't copy into the <sighs> I won't go on the chat. Hmm. Just a second. Let me do just a, let me do one through four. Yeah, you can just do a few at a time. <clears throat> it won't I don't know what the See, I don't have time to figure something out in the middle of trying to do the. What I know. I'm trying to do. I don't know what's going on. Let's, okay. Okay. Copy. I can, I'm gonna, I can copy and paste them in. Yeah, do it. Okay. I'll just do the ones we haven't. Uh, okay. Haven't, thank you. Um, let's see. And I will just send them to Wendy or should oh, I send okay. it to everyone? Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, I just had to not try to send so much. Yeah. All right. Here they come. <laughs> well, they're only the answers we don't have are for three, four, seven. Well, eight. but I'm trying to do it fast. I think seven is uh, God of the Gaps. I don't think so. We can put it in if we don't come up that, with anything a, else. That's a <clears throat> specific thing for. Yeah, that's a very specific thing. For well, I thought someone. it meant that if you if you can't prove it, then it must be. All right, there's all the questions. Uh, that's not God of the gaps. Thank you. Okay. It's it's skipping a, a logic step. It's um, um, what is it called? Where you know P then Q, but but it's not the same as Q then P. Oh, uh, Ergo <laughs> Ergo Proctor. No, we do no. That no, was, no. It's uh, um, that was the vaccine. Damn, uh, it just was. I was just. Reading all permutations. I, I need of to have in. the ten. I, I need to have them on a list that I can. You got ten? You got ten? No, no, no. We can't. It's been it easier it. if you've given us the fallacy. Yeah. To I understand that. Even yeah, uh, we're surprisingly, getting really this is poorly. Not, this is what? not Carl. This is not Carl's thing. Even he does not know most of these. Yeah, yeah I'm. Surprised. Well, the problem is, is that you recognize the misstep in the logic, but to remember the actual mm -hmm. name of the fallacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm having uh, trouble remembering most of us. And I also have a problem with several things fit certain things. So it's yeah, like, that's a problem. Well, it kind of fits that, but no, it's also could be argument of authority, but no, not really. It's kind of more like this. It's an argument from not authority that only an authorian would be able to do, it, but not, but it kind of is an ad hominem too, but just, <laughs> It's hard to say. It's almost more of a discussion. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually happy with the discussion people are having amongst all the forms of fallacy someone can come up with. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that people are struggling and still yeah. getting some. So I, I was actually expecting because you, you posted this a lot of skeptic groups. I thought we'd have more people from different groups. And therefore, I was hoping there would be like, you know, a spattering of people from other skeptic groups and all the teams. But that didn't happen. Yeah, I'm shocked. We had 62 people who said they were going to be. Uh, here. I mean, you know, said, had uh, said uh, interested. So, <laughs> so part of the problem today is like football day is like every major league. Uh, team is freaking playing football. Well, we got almost 30 people here, so I think we're yeah. pretty good. That's a normal day for us. Okay, so yeah. which ones we do not have answers for right now? I think also three, Rob, four, seven, and eight. We need to sit down and spend more time really teaching this. Thank you. One? 
What do we say for one? Uh, we we that, put in ad, ad hominem, hominem. Ad hominem? Okay. as a well, default, but it's not quite. All right, I'll put it's a, a personal mark, attack, right? you know, but it's not. Yeah. She's stupid. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you're, you're not qualified to. Mm. All right, go. I, I mute myself when I <laughs> check. Sorry, I'm going away. I'm going away. <laughs> I was, I was mute myself. I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Due to danger. Go so so it's... I was looking at three. Um, was um, almost appeal to a higher higher power but appeal to authority appeal no because it's not an appeal to authority uh, <clears throat> oh it's the, the it's it's like i put false I, analogy yeah that's what i put for that but i don't know did you put what for three i put false yeah. analogy because they go it's it's almost like the higher you're able to perceive or the louder your volume, that the highest level of that highest <laughs> energy being of the spirit. So he says, so he's analogizing a, the way electronics work. Yeah, but I think there's I think there's one specifically to just being louder and louder, like making more noise doesn't you can say it over and over again. And you can say it louder and louder, but it doesn't change. No. Uh, but I don't know the I name. Mean, I don't know. Yeah. I, um, I'm going to give two minute notice, okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. We should be able to get eight. Okay, so which one are we missing now? Let's try eight. Okay, let me let me focus on it. <laughs> Russell's teapot. Hey, does anybody have any ideas for eight? I mean, like, what did you... I, eight? I think eight has a good Latin name that that means that I'll never, I'll never think of it. So it's an it's... it's an easy one, but I it it has that Latin name. It's, it's the idea of falsifiability isn't evidence for something it, or a lack of falsifiability. Yeah, it's the not absence, evidence the, for. The absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. We'll try that. Yeah. That's, that sounds close enough. Let's go close enough. Okay, what's another one that you want me to look at and channel my thoughts to you on? Seven. Oh, this is an argument. This is like number one, where it's a uh, only an expert could do this. Only only authority could do this. So <laughs> appeal to authority. authority. That was a false. Seven uh, for seven. No, it's like the same thing. No, as the argument. it's not. It's an argument almost, from authority. It's the opposite. It's like only a only. A I know. It's yeah. Authority. It's like it's like one where where. You know, but it's not doing the logical conclusion. So, yeah, I, uh, it's like a flood. Walking down the street. <laughs> Look well, like you have the uh, well, my version of Guadalupe hey, headdress. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I know. She's got the special crown on her head today. Oh. Well, Rod. That's that a delicious be... looking crown. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Zeke has a halo of, I'm going to do pin here so I can. Rob, crumb, crumb donuts. Oh, yeah. Crumb. A halo of some oh. sort of. <laughs> it's, it's an bagel. 
Yeah, everything, everything bagel. bagel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was a donut yeah. with crumbs on it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is it is that a reference to um, uh, what's it called that movie? Um, everything, everywhere, all at once, or something? No, it's just what I had this morning for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> her, her the only, oh. the only just, kind okay, of bagel. Bobby, she just learned how to use put a background on today, so that was on her phone. So she probably just said, "Let me try that." Now okay. we're going to get different different uh, backgrounds for Zeke. Okay, I'm tr oh, trying to Maybe. remember where I. And there's chickens appearing. <laughs> there's a lot of chickens there, Karen. Those chickens look exactly like the um, uh, Susan's chicken. It does, Edgar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah Edgar. Further evidence that Susan Gerbic has her fingers throughout the in online world. Yeah, as we have seen from the what article that we weave. wrote. Chickens? The clue. Max is right. Max is hearing the word chicken, but he's not hearing his name. Look at Alan's so. coming in with his. Look at Oh yes. <laughs> the, wait, Dad, we still have that? <laughs> That's huge. Oh my Edgar is getting very it's excited here. Foghorn leghorn. Yep. That, when I was for years when I was a kid, that was that hung in the corner of my bedroom. Oh, okay. oh, that's funny. I think I think you should right stand it in the background somewhere. I love it. I say, I say, I say, boy. I say, I say, boy. Let's play some trivia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we yeah. ready? We gotta find a special yeah. place for him to stand. Okay. Okay, that background actually. Works I hope you all way. brought your chickens with you. I got mine. Uh, hang on. Is. I I have to go walk my dog. So catch me up when I get back. Okay, I you gotta go yeah. run. Yes. Gotta go feed the my, chickens. My chickens are out in the driveway. Okay, Rob. Oh, yeah, so four of us have chickens. The others. I'm not bringing them in. <laughs> okay, so I think the way we're gonna score this is if anyone gets the exact right thing, that's it. But if <laughs> no one does, and and the other ones are sort of vaguely in the area of the name, then then you'll get a point. Okay. All right. There might be some arguments here though. So uh, I was really hoping that Richard Saunders yeah. would have been playing this game, but it's not a good time for him because, uh, you know, he yeah. played uh, Michelle, need Michelle Bickers Bickers logical life. fallacies on the skeptic zone. So uh, I, I think almost all of these were counted there. Uh, I was doing mine before they started them on the skeptic zone, so that we didn't exactly match up. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Sharing screen. That way, please go down. <laughs> okay, so number one. I don't care if Susan Gerbic caught TV medium, John Redhead, yada, 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 yada. Okay, so what this is, is the appeal to accomplishment. What the point oh. is there, he was making a point that she's a photographer, not a scientist, and therefore her claim can have no validity. Right, it occurs which, when a which is an ad hominem. It's a subcategory of that solely by accomplishment of a person disagreeing with us something rather than on the quality of their criticism. I was thinking credentialism sort of covered the idea, but uh, so if nobody it, got this, I'll give you that because it is talking about your credentials. Yeah, it's an so ad hominem. Ad hominem. Ad hominem. Well, okay, we'll take it. We thought it was um, the opposite of uh, the argument of authority. No, I said ad hominem. Okay. Did ad hominem get points? No, that no, because it's <laughs> that's that's specific. This is specific. It's a specific version of that, which is the accomplishment of the person, not that yeah. you know, they're a jerk or they're ugly or they're stupid. So it's not appeal. So to it's not either. No, and it's, it's not, not appeal. I thought it was a subset of ad hominem. Yeah, that's right. I they're all subsets of each other essentially. Either. So we're doing the one which most closely fits it, which is the smallest level, right? Otherwise, they're all non sequiturs also. So uh, so that's not a correct answer. Right. Someone said accomplishment or what they say credentials. Credentialism. It's, that's, I'll give you that one. Thank okay, you. So, okay, so, okay, so they got the point. They got closer than anyone else. Okay. Right. So no, no one yeah. else gets the point. It that's is obviously stupid. Just because we got it doesn't mean we're right. Uh, uh. It is obviously stupid to believe that life originally sprang from chemicals that evolved. Now, again, this could be a subcategory of a bunch, but this is, is specifically called arg appeal to the stone. Oh. What it's ba was basically doing is uh, you're, it's a fallacy because your argument is absurd. I'm not going to address your claims. So that's why it's obviously stupid. Uh -huh. 
Um, <laughs> personal incredulity was what I. No, close, but no cigar. Well, That's, did anybody? That, 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 that means I don't understand how it could be, so therefore it can't be. Okay. Wow. All right. Number three is uh, so this. <laughs> The person saying this phrase is actually Laura Lynn Jackson, who's Gwyneth Paltrow's personal psychic medium. And she said this live on the Goop Lab, season one, episode six. Are you into it? So this is, I heard people oh. getting close to this. So, <laughs> yeah, basically like word people salad. said word salad, word, word salad, salad is good. Is, if no one got yes. gibberish, I'll give you word salad or yeah. non-realistic yeah. premise. <laughs> False analogy. Uh, we said appeal to Deepak Chopra. I yeah. love that. I'm going to give you so, that. That, that awesome. literally oh, appealed, appealed to gibberish, sure. Yeah, I think yeah. it's dead. We can kill him or, here. That's just the respelling of gibberish. Yeah. That's right. Deep back to yeah. him. That's right. I, I, I think it's an anagram if you look at it closely. <laughs> So, uh, all right. So this one was actually, I'm not going to tell you who the author was. It bugged me when I first read the article. And then I learned that this is, in fact, a logical fallacy called fallacy of relative <laughs> privation, oh. meaning it's an appeal to worse problems. All right. I mean, mm -hmm. Only my problem is the important one. No one else should care about anything else. We got relative privation. So. Ooh, very good. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Nirvana. So uh, our group said. Uh, decided on problem X is so big that nobody should worry about problem Y, but that's got the idea, but that's the description. Yeah. And someone else got the name. So that, that was great point for that. Too. You're police stop arresting people for robbery until you fix all murder. Yeah. It happens. So, I mean, you know, the people who, who quit the skeptic movement because they didn't care about <gasps> being social warriors. Cause that's the only important thing. That was another thing that came up recently. Wait, wait, I got a question. I just yeah. saw this on Twitter. Let me tell you, they said, I went, my daughter has, some illness, she needed to get amoxicillin. We went to the doctor and they're out of amoxicillin. So I don't understand how, why we're sending so much money to Ukraine, but we can't get amoxicillin for our kids. Is yeah. that this argument? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. This is irrelevant things, too irrelevant things. That, that right. is not that argument. Number oh, five, Yoda. Do or do not. There is no try. That bugged me when he said it. So that's a false dichotomy. I heard people no, say black way. and white policy. You know, that's about close. false, false binary. Yeah, we got true. false. Oh. Excluded middle. middle. Excluded middle. Yeah, that's true. Also. Yep. But if you got false, but if you got someone got false dichotomy, we did. Then it should. Oh, somebody said that oh. specifically. Yeah, yeah, we got. Yeah, yeah we, we got did. Okay, very good. No, all right. Can well, we knock out everyone else then. <laughs> I believe yeah. I. Yeah. Yes. I believe we I did. said that in our group. No, no we did yeah. it too. I got false dichotomy. Okay. Got it. All right. So in that case, only that actual name counts. Number six. Mm. So this one, everyone got the idea, even if you don't have the exact thing. I think uh, this is the only one yeah. Latin, because yes. I love that Latin. Uh, and yes. after this, therefore, because of this. If we you have to get the commas, commas right? does it count? No. Yeah, yeah the commas must be. Correct. In fact, I, I was picked. I was picked on when I posted this because they said Latin did not use commas, so therefore, yeah. I can't um, even if it did, Rob, the commas would not have gone in those two places. Uh, I disagree. <laughs> Number Unless seven. you're Christopher it's, Walken speaking Latin. It's so, Proctor. Uh, <laughs> there we go. It's, it's Proctor. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so with the, yeah, the, does the Oxford comma count in Latin? <laughs> yeah, they didn't have such a thing. So number seven. They have, so They didn't even have spaces. So, <laughs> right. So for number seven, uh, this one. Oh my uh, God, Richard, you guys, I love you all. Richard Saunders actually read this for me uh, on a promo <clears throat> for the Gorilla Skeptics because uh, our, our promos have four podcasters or other well-known voices reading exactly what they don't believe. And then we come on and say, you know, to help with people understanding this stuff, join the Gorilla Skeptics on Wikipedia group. So this was the one Richard came up with. And this is sometimes known as the Sherlock Holmes fallacy, also argument from omniscience. Because in other words, in order to uh, say all nothing else is possible, you need to be omniscient to know nothing else, all the other things that can't be. Can we say argument from incredulity? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Conan Doyle, sometimes it's called the Conan Doyle fallacy because clearly he wrote Sherlock Holmes, but it, also the argument from omniscience. Pretty close to a false dichotomy, though. It is. Isn't it? But it's not. No. Okay. Yeah. That's so, so, so this actually this this actually comes up in religion a lot. This one, 
and basically, you know, it, it, it's the only God is uh, knows everything, and therefore. <laughs> but anyway, all right, number eight. So this is actually uh, the, the example I gave is uh, from uh, Bernard oh, Russell, of proof. right? Right. We we got that exactly. Yeah, Russell. Yeah, yeah the the Russell's teapot uh, giving is the example, but it's not the name of the fallacy. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. We had we had um, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence, but that's more just. Scripter, yeah, and I heard somebody got the exact name, so we got the exact name. No, no, you're right. Now that I see it, you're right. Yeah, we got the same exact name. Yeah. All right, number nine. I think most of the teams I looked at, slope, or everyone, right? got this one. This is called slippery slope fallacy, mm -hmm. yeah. right? I knew one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, I think you can actually find evidence that it's this. That for some things it might act a slippery slope might actually be valid. That's oh, why yeah. they're called informal logical fallacies. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. You I might think you, know, too many you, might, you might say that, uh, that, that that limited censorship might uh, is sort of to be resisted because <laughs> that's right, that old stopped on. clock thing. Let's go on. Yeah. Number 10. Yeah. And uh, and most people would have gotten the names I was going for on the bottom there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. So oh, is... oh, oh, jury. Oh, I get it. Oh, you just get it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really look at it before. Okay. Dad. Yeah. So, you know, Except these are one of those, these... one of those M should be an N. Yeah. Uh, okay. Somebody so, yeah, these are not, you know, okay. actually anagrams. I, I didn't, awesome. I didn't actually want to go with. Because because they never said these things directly to each other, but this was kind of the argument that I would see uh, Mr. Gill are making, and this is the U uh, two fallacy. Oh, you so two. oh, we got both. We said U two fallacy, aka yeah. two pokeway. Oh, very yeah. good. Very so, good. So but that's it's also ad hominem. You're a liar. Well, it we says say right right on the hominem. screen that it's a form of ad hominem. Yeah. That's that's a super category of this, right? This is specifically oh, going with the. Oh, you did was, that too. It was too broad. Okay. And if anyone wants to find my whole set of fifty-two, you can snap that or 52. type in tinyurlcom <laughs> slash fallacies. They're all on. They're all on my Facebook page, in one photo album. Cool. That was really good. My brain hurts. Oh God. <laughs> good to be reminded of these things. So, and how point. many ways can we be wrong about something? I always oh, feel so boy. stupid We're when really I Let me count the ways. I always feel <laughs> dumb because I just never seem to get it. I overthink it or I get them confused yeah. with each other. I, I I don't think I'd ever be any good at, at teaching this. It's too, unless I just only taught the, uh, the, the basics. Let me just point out, there is an app on your, you can get on your phone. It's called Cranky Uncle. It's by, I think it's by John Cook. It looks like this. <laughs> Great and, I, and, I, and this year, I promise I'm going to do this more often. It's it's a game you can start playing. Um, it's a single player game. And what it does is it gives you logical <laughs> fallacies and it gives you all sorts of circumstances. And you're supposed to make your uncle crankier and crankier and crankier. crankier. And that's <laughs> it'll take like you, you start with one fallacy like um, cherry picking. That's what I did. And you just, keep, you just keep trying to find more ways of, of making him using cherry picked ar arguments. It's called cranky no, uncle. More and more, and more oh. irritable. And more and more a, irritable. A, Adrian, you're so irritated. Red. As a as representative a of cranky, uncranky, or cranky or uncle. As a representative and, of the well, zone, yes. let me point out that Michelle <laughs> did these for many, many, many weeks, and Richard put them into two sets. Yep. Right of twenty each, I believe. Yes. Can you put Can you put the links to those? Uh, in, in I the, can give it a try. Yeah. In, uh... it, it still didn't make me any better at this. <laughs> yeah, is anyone Is anyone on the call connected to Camp Quest in any way? Uh, possibly. What do you want to know? Possibly. I want to say if if this is something you know you wish you had a better grasp of this. If you have kids or grandkids in your life, consider sending them to Camp Quest in the summer because this is the kind of stuff that the kids learn. And Very about cool. a decade ago. I was helping them write curriculum and we would do fun kid activities where they learned the logical fallacies and stuff like that. So, so then they go tell off their uncles West. at Thanksgiving. I'd love to do it. Yeah, definitely, you hope so. I gotta force my kid to go this summer. I, I, I actually work I actually worked I'm on hoping. their Wikipedia. I worked <laughs> on their Wikipedia too afraid page. This year. Zeke, Zeke, I worked on their Wikipedia page. 
cool. Yeah, we've also written Camp Press Quest UK's Wikipedia page because it's a different organization, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Ross Blatcher has that yeah, as part of his, his thing, that the million things that he does. Yeah, he's a counselor and he yeah. directed the location this past summer. He was director. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very impressive. Okay, so let's do our scores. What do you think we did? Anybody got a guess on an average score? <laughs> is your argument from what? Four. To decide average what score, our four. average score is group wise. I'm going to say four. I'm going to say okay. five. I'm going to say seven. Ooh, okay. So, <laughs> such an optimist, Carl. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious where we're going to go with this. So, let's start with Yapping Who Near. Three. Yeah. Well, that's right. Okay. Get some inside knowledge. Flockers and the non-flockers, so we can get an average. Four. Four. We yeah. have an average of three point five. All right. <clears throat> Small dick energy at getalife.com. Five. five. Good. An average. There's my four. Stop the count. Gluten ration ration jar. Six. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Can we get a two? seven? Two. Two. Okay. Two. So we didn't kill the Pope or Barbara. Three. Five. Four. Who made the five. average guess of seven? <laughs> we got four. Oh, four. It is four. four. It's four. four. It is four. I'll give you four. zero in a minute. Four. Four. Yeah. Four. Four. Okay. Three, four, five. One of those cards. It's kind of like the fallacy. So I guess one four of because these. you said five, Deborah. That's Price is oh. Right rules. I win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a new? You'll, your your new prize new? will come in the mail. Thank you. <laughs> we have a new leader all of a sudden. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It That's wasn't right. very sudden. <laughs> this is the last time that somebody is a new leader. Okay. Got I didn't it. think we did got that it. well. Look at that. All right. Yeah. Gail, your, where are you? you got Gail. Your team. There she is, right in the middle. Why do yeah. we not see the middle? Your team got the highest score, Dr. Dim. Yeah. So so, 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 how many people got the right idea but didn't get the proper name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. yeah. had one or two that we didn't get. I think we all would have got a ten. We all need to go the, back over our over our fallacies. When we got Susan, the category, I, just put, I put the official answer, Susan, in, in the chat for you. All right. Thank you, super, super so, much. I think one so of them should have been called Trumpism somewhere <laughs> there's actually a podcast class. which was running while he was president i don't know if they're still doing new episodes but every <laughs> week it was called logically fallacious and it covered <laughs> all the fallacies he did that week oh, okay. the scary part is that half the country or 40 40 percent anyway believes his crap half the voters yeah oh yeah or don't even know what a fallacy <laughs> is not not half the voters there's hope there Half of the people who chose to vote. Oh, so we can otherwise known as voters. everyone to vote and not give up or not say I don't like any of them. There is great, great power there. Uh, and there are people who will who don't believe anything he says, think he's an idiot, but vote because it behooves them in some other way. Yeah. Yeah. They want their guns and they'll always vote for the guy who gives them their guns. Yeah, we we need to make the distinction between. Potential voters, registered voters, and voters. I agree. And those who drive them to their voting appointment. And, and morons who vote, too. Oh. Susan, well, that, that's included in voters. Thank you. Gail, it's your turn. <laughs> subset. Okay, I'm ready. A dumb subset. All right. Gail's turn. Our category for this one is going to be traditions around the world for the new year. And... <laughs> I was glad I didn't do about uh, hangovers. Uh, hangovers. The, the hangovers, because it's going to be a very similar process. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the things, and you're gonna, and I'm going to give you a list of the countries, <laughs> and you need to identify the hangover cure and match it to the country. And as I'm telling you that, uh, so that getting one wrong doesn't mean automatically two wrong. There are two countries we're not going to use. So there are two more countries than there are things. Okay. 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 I'm ready to start. <laughs> and if you want to. Is the category about hangovers again? No, it's about <laughs> New Year's tradition around okay. the world. He's messing with the gal. <laughs> okay. No, she referred she to the tape. Said hangovers. That's what I said. Refer to the tape. No, I, I heard that. She did say that. She did hangover too. She did. I said not hangovers like we did earlier. 
the tip. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Number one, during Hagma, Hagma, unmute, unmute yourself, Gail. Unmute yourself, Gail. I didn't unmute. know you were doing that. Yeah. Yeah. During he didn't Hagma, count. You got to count. The first person I tried. The threshold of your house after midnight is a dark-haired man. Oh, what country is that? All of them are going to be. What country is that? Question two. In this country, eating, I can't pronounce it, Ali Bolin is important to stop the Germanic goddess Perchera, the belly slitter, from filling your stomach with garbage. Apparently, her sword will slide off because of the greasy donut. What, where is this? It's behind Zeke. <laughs> it kind of looks like a donut. Okay, remember, I'm going to give you all the countries afterwards. Question three. If you're traveling on New Year's Eve and see the ocean filled with white flowers and candles, what country are you likely to be in? Oh, that would be lovely. Question four. In this country, people wear red underwear if they hope to conceive children in the new year. What country is this? Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> Wouldn't that be lovely? Question five. Maybe they could swim in the ocean and make the... White flowers yeah, pink. Maybe. What South American country has mass on New Year's Eve in the cemeteries rather than a church in order to include their deceased family members? Okay, question six. Long and thin soba noodles are used to symbolize long life. And the soba noodle is made with buckwheat, a very resilient plant. Where is this custom? Hello. Seven. Okay, question seven. Yeah, I'm already here. Kevin, Kevin, you're not muted. When you move, you're not muted, Kevin. I there think so. Are. Where do people throw dishes at other people's doors to leave behind any ill will or aggression? The bigger your pile of broken dishes, the more luck you will have in the next year. What country is this? Some country where dishes are very cheap. I hope so. Okay, question eight. What is the country where people write their wishes on a piece of paper, burn them with a candle, and then drink the ashes in champagne? Nine. In this country, if a single woman sleeps with mistletoe under her pillow on New Year's Eve, it will help them find their future husband. Where? And finally, number 10. In this country, cutting an apple in half will determine your fate. Hope for a star-shaped core, since that means happiness and health, but a cross means illness. Where is this? And you match them with 10 of these countries. Okay, and here's the list of countries. And you just have to put the letter next to the, the number. A is Ireland, B is Russia, C is Denmark, D is Japan, E is Chile, S is Germany, G is Italy, H is the Czech Republic, I is Scotland. Oh, I haven't put that in yet. Let me put it in so you can all see it. Can you write them down, please? Oh, there we go. Okay. 
Uh, D is Japan, E is Chile, F is Germany, G is Italy, H is the Czech Republic, I is Scotland, J is Brazil, K is Greece, and L is the Netherlands. And there are 12 of them, so two of them will not be included. Any questions? Seems okay. straightforward. That's a cool category, Gail. Good job, Gail. Good job. All right, and everybody looks like they're going to be able to go to the rooms just fine. I'm not even needed here anymore. I'm just going to copy these answers and put them on the chart. Like a good little girl. I am going to my room, which is. Is this helpful? Yeah, that might help. This is a little. There's there's so many words. It's hard to. Yeah. Make everything fit. I'll get rid of these. So hugman hug hugmaname nagmaname. That sounds Scottish. Scottish. I'm pretty sure that's Scotland. Yeah. So um, I is one or one is I. I'm not sure what. Okay. The... I'll do that. I I knew Japan right away as the the soba noodle. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes sense. That's which, six. Which, is that six? Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, the ashes in uh, Champagne, I believe, is Russia. Oh yeah, yeah. And which number is that? Which number uh, is that? Eight. Okay. Eight. Eight B. Two B or not two B? Eight B or not B? Two mark, B. Mark off the ones we didn't. That we think we know. Um. Oli Bolin. Germanic goddess. But maybe not Germany. <laughs> I was going to say it's either Germany or Denmark. Um, yeah, don't know. And Perk, that doesn't sound particularly German or perched or whatever it is. Yeah. Perched at the belly slitter. Oh, it could sounds be Netherlands disgusting. also. Yeah, Netherlands sounds good because they do a lot of weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> a belly slitter. Yeah, and it's the only, besides Germany, it's the only really Germanic country on the list. Yeah. I'd go with well, like L. we said, Denmark. Yeah. And... But you think Netherlands is your leading guest for two? Yeah, yeah, that would be mine. It really is pretty guessy. Yeah. I'll do that. <laughs> uh, no idea on the ocean and flowers, white flowers. Yeah. Hey, red underwear for kids in the new year? Hmm? No. I don't think so. Anyone? Anyone? Well, here is one that we know is South America. So what's our South American options? Chile. Or Brazil. Or Brazil. So cemetery. And I've never heard of this. So it's a coin toss between the two. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay. We need to put it to a vote. Come back. Should we come back to it? Is there anything else that might be Chile or Brazil? Probably. You know, before we got the options um, of the countries, the broken dishes made me think of Greece. I don't know. If yeah, but that's just because you watch Zorba the Greek. 
Yeah. I still like Greece for seven anyways. Isn't that uh, Italy? Broken dishes? No? Not a clue. Yeah, my vote for the broken dishes is Greece. It was originally going to be China if they hadn't given it to us because I figure all the dishes were China. But yeah. Hey, where are countries? Economy. What was, country was, are apples plentiful in for cutting the apple in half? Uh, Washington, but that's not a country. <laughs> um, Germany, yeah. they have apples. Um, be more northern. I don't know. Yeah, but I would assume it would be a northern country. I was going to say Switzerland, but it didn't show up. Maybe the Czech Republic. They're weird over there. I know that. I work with them. <laughs> I work with them, and I've been over a couple of times. I think we're just making guesses on a lot of these. This point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But at least, yeah, so we can, like, <laughs> we're saying... For the apple, it's either Germany, Czech Republic, Denmark. Yeah. Yeah, Czech Republic sounds good. Yeah, I go with okay. ten. You said ten they, uh, they like, uh, they like weird shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, mistletoe. How? I don't know if is there a geographic um, where we can narrow that down. Because I mean, we have mistletoe here in California, I don't know. so it seems like it can grow anywhere. Well, I would assume that's Northern California. No, even in LA. In LA. Okay. In, in the mountains. In the mountains. Oh, no. okay. Um, but I don't know. I've most certainly never heard of that. No. We want to make a guess on the white flowers and candles. I think it's all guesses from here on in, more so than it's already been. Well, okay. If it, you're traveling, oh, you're traveling on New Year's Eve. Okay. Well, you got to be traveling on the ocean. It's right. a little confusing there because what country are you in if you're traveling the ocean? It, it depends on if you're close to shore. Any of the ones with oceans. Yeah, that's. Well, we've eliminated Japan. How did you put candles in the ocean? Isn't the sea too rough? Wouldn't it? I was kind of wondering about ocean? that part too. Yeah. Got to be really near the shore. So what so what countries here will have the least waves on the ocean? Unfortunately, the the answer to that question is Greece. Cuz the Mediterranean has less waves than Well, Italy is on the, the ocean. Yeah, in Italy too. Yeah, there's not a lot of waves in either of those. So yeah, Italy. I want to give it to Italy? Flowers and candles? That's it's too uh... cool for Italy. <laughs> Red underwear. So we gave three to G to Italy. Moment. Yeah, very, very unless tentative. unless you have a good argument against it. <laughs> very tentatively. Yeah, I can't see Italians doing this, but uh... it seems like overly romantic. Maybe I don't know. That sounds mm -hmm. kind of Italian. And they and they I got lots of they, they they got lots of candles because of you know all the all the shit in the churches with the candles. That's true, and they got a lot of shoreline to have oceans. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, red underwear. I was going to guess Russia originally, but. Red underwear. 
I don't know why Brazil sounds right for that. It could be almost anywhere. Yeah, it could. Well, a lot of these could be anywhere. It's, yeah. it's a, this is all guessing game. Yeah. Unless you're like, I've heard something about this. Yeah. Do you want to put it yeah. on Brazil? Sure. Unless we got a better... Give it to Brazil. In honor of Pele. There you go. The Hawaiian god of volcanoes? That's that's Pele, right? It is as well. Yeah, that, that, that's the W version, yes. So that would say that five has to be Chile then. It's going to go South American then, country left. We said, yeah, because we said that or that. Right. Okay, so I want to give Chile five. Okay, we got six. And Chile has the advantage of being a Spanish-speaking country as opposed to a Portuguese-speaking Portuguese country. Portuguese, yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Bolsonaro, they got a lot more dead people so they could use those cemeteries. Ah, that that sounds like a conspiracy theory. <laughs> what have we not placed? Because we'll have two unused ones, correct? Seven and nine and... We have oh, seven, yeah. maybe. Eight, nine, just nine, really. Oh, did we do seven? I think we wrote seven maybe for Greece. Greece, okay. Yes, I missed that one. Yep. Mm. Most, most of these are maybe. <laughs> They're all me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think there's going to be a lot of guessing going on. <laughs> all right, so mistletoe. future hubbies. Mistletoe, let's pick Germany. Do you think maybe the Christmas mistletoe tradition probably came from Germany? Maybe. We get a lot of a lot from Germany. We so. get a lot of that. So yeah. maybe. Yeah, I, I have such a distorted view of all things german that's my parents were holocaust survivors yeah. So. Mm, yeah. <laughs> everything to do with germany just repulses me and my, my grandparents were holocaust not survivors holocaust nuts not not survivors. Oh. and and my my mm. father's sister actually ended up in auschwitz but she survived oh what oh, come wow. on this is the first of the year and my my mom was one of eight kids. Three survived. Yeah. But somehow Abby is surviving in Germany. Yeah, I remember growing up there, you because of the area I lived in, uh, there were a lot of folks that came over from the old country. Um, there were there were some of the parents there. If you tried to drive a Volkswagen into their onto the driveway, they would kick you off. In case we go over this by number, I'm just rewriting it down. Yeah. All right. So what do we have here? I mean, the only Four, ones, J. only one I'm really modestly confident about is number one, being Scotland. Oh, yeah. I. <laughs> yeah. I and only see, know Japan. I specifically yeah, and the soba know noodles that. because yeah. the soba noodles and the right. soba noodles just makes lots of sense. Also, because they said buckwheat, I know in Japan it's specifically buckwheat noodles, except for in Okinawa because they eat different soba noodles. Right. <laughs> yeah, that one. That that's good too. Well, I know we got one point. You might want to turn them around because I said to put the number letters next yeah. to the numbers. I'm doing that now on my scrap okay, paper. Because <laughs> I'm going to read it that way. Yeah. Thank you for that. And um, I think you're almost done too. I think we're going to close yeah. the rooms. Yeah, we're ready to go. We did good. Well, they did good. I didn't help. I think so. You I just, just didn't guess I as well as we did, Susan. That's all. I do I do I have the reading, my, uh, reading of this. So go. we're good. We're good. We're, we're written. I guess we can head back and for a change. I'm not going to say we have to hurry this up so I can go to sleep already. What? No, you don't have to. Now. Yeah, the, the one last Wednesday, <laughs> really, or Thursday was really late. It happens, you know, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of weird. I don't really look at clocks. So 
My brother didn't join us today because he it's said it's the middle of the night, Gail. Yeah, I know. <laughs> gonna be, that's going to be the way it is. Um, yeah. Because you can't accommodate everybody when they're all over the world. Yeah. Well, I had a Zoom meeting directly before this Zoom because yeah. every Sunday, my family, my extended family around the world, we do a big Zoom every Sunday morning. Thanks. Uh, that just like this cool. started with the I, pandemic. I can't get my kids to do it. No way. And, and my family, my sister, my aunt, and one of my sons, Sterling, will not do Zoom. Oh, there. And that's like almost my entire family right there. <laughs> so I can't. I, lo I love it because my, I, I have an it. aunt. I have an aunt here in, in the LA area and we're the only family here, even on the West coast. So it's a nice way to connect with everyone. Yeah. I think, it's, we're all in different time I think it's a wonderful so tool. Here. I still can't get them to do it. Trying to get my wife to come over here. Yeah. Echo turn on office. You're hi. This is my better half. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. She's been here before. Nope. I can't keep her up that late. Well, but you've come by at least, right? I don't think so. Oh, we're heading to our room. Oh, that's true. She can't hear anything because I'm on a headset. Oh, so. okay. Well, okay, there we are. Hi, Diane, right? Can you see oh. yeah. There you go. This guy and this guy here. We're on mute. Oh, I guess there you so. go. I Hi, there. You should Hi, come Diane. Out. Hi, Diane. We're all back. Are we ready for the answers? Yep. As oh, ready so. as we're likely to be. <laughs> okay. All right. Number one. I'll give you the whole list with the number with the letters and numbers afterwards. But let me just go through them all. Number one. And I think everybody seemed to have known this one is Scotland, which was I. Hagenay, right? And number two. And that country is the Netherlands. It's a Germanic goddess, but it's not German. Number three. And many of you notice that Brazil, J, is on the, on the water. Jeez, this one's blind. And number four. Is Italy. Where oh. apparently that's a, a custom if you want children. Huh. And number five. And many of you caught on that South America, there were only two choices. And if it wasn't Brazil, it was, it the other. was Chile. We guessed wrong. Or Chile. Mm -hmm. Baby back, baby red grapes, chilies, barbecue sauce. You caught the soba noodles. You knew it was Japan. And that's why we didn't have anything from China, because they also do long noodles there. And throwing dishes is Denmark. Oh. Sorry, Karen. Oh. Sorry, Karen. And apparently the more dishes you have, the more popular you are. Sorry, it was, just, it was just a guess. But you were right, we were wrong. Yeah, I was so country, good That's never happened that before. Right. Right. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. There's had, one thing that a... actually knew that right in the beginning. They said right away said, I know that one. Darren knew that one. Because there was liquor involved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're in and they're in. And the woman with the mistletoe, that's Ireland. Yay. Ireland. Ireland. And is the Czech Republic, H. Uh -oh. 
And so just see. for your information, it wasn't on there, but since I gave you two more countries, just in case you're curious, it won't count for anything, but yeah. the two countries that I did not give you, um, there are there from the same source, their things. Um, Germany was not included, but they pour lead over a candle and pour it in water, and the shape it makes gives them their future. Uh, uh, Dr. Dim, in Greece, Dr. and in Greece, Dr. they Dr. hang the onions thing. on their door. Yeah. But Dr. Dim, what, what is going on with your video? It looked like you were possessed. <laughs> oh. Was, oh. Yes. I, as he was. Uh, it's back. It's back to normal now, but it was like. Oh, <laughs> I, okay. I decided There's to try the. the yeah. I just, uh, maybe right. I should just undo the. Um, uh, Doctor, no, no, Doctor no. Dim. It's like Not that. I, I don't know. What, I don't know what happened. It did it before. I just restarted the video. So, but yeah, was I like going like all glitchy? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, Sorry. this is the first time in a long time that I've tried <laughs> using the uh, the uh, fake background <laughs> thing. Uh, your background looks fine. Yeah, it just looks a little cold. Yeah. yeah. No. Well, that's a little oh, warmer. That? Well, I if, I, if I was there now, it would be snow covered. Hey, die. Stay for scores. Stay for scores. Okay, here we go. It's really getting, it's still pretty close. So, Yappy Hoonier. Four. Four. I got to look and see. No, you're not even on that team. Who? <laughs> Yappy knew. He I said it. Is. Four. Kevin's, Kevin's on, on that team. team. On two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yappy knew. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I came okay. up with the team name. I'm getting to a point where I don't believe to you, make you before, Kevin. Make you have to drink before you could say it right. <laughs> Meet the flockers and the non flockers. Five. Oh, hey, uh, small dick energy at getalife.com. Six. Okay, we didn't kill the Pope or Barbara. Fine. Oh, well. I'll say six. six. Uh, yeah. Okay, and last but not least, Gushin Rushin in a, in a jar. Eight. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 well, surely, I'm my own language. I like that one the best I, so far. I, that is good. Gushin Gushin in a jar. <laughs> you should mock at that. I hope you guys are writing yeah, it down because or a booze. At least we it's are being recorded. recorded. All right, so we got it. We got it. So they're really starting to strike out. So we're so Gushin Gushin in, in a, a jar. jar is champagne with ashes in it. Something like there that. You Diane, you should definitely <laughs> hang around for the bonus because it might be. It, it's going to get really interesting right now. And it's Carl. <laughs> so, Carl, where are you on the screen? Why can't I see? Carl. Oh, he's up there at the Carl, top. but you're still in profile. It's just Carl. a bonus round. I'm not going oh, to It's just, just a bonus patient. round, you guys. It's just a bonus round. He just thought of it like a couple minutes ago. He didn't put his full thought process oh, in. There I go. I can. What the Speaking hell? of which, before we go any further, I need a bonus round for Thursday. I've got Rob, Romero, Carl, Aaron, and I need a bonus round. I can't do it. I have yeah. another one written, Susan, if you want it. Gail's got a bonus round. If nobody else has something, I'm speaking once, twice, and a bonus and a jar. Is okay, this a speaking Gail. in tongues segment or something? No, I was just auctioning off. Auctioning off. Gail, you are bonus. Auctioner. Next Thursday. Oh, oh, okay. She thinks okay, she's auctioning so. things. Try to do it in Washington. <laughs> oh my goodness, you people are so funny. Okay, so we are going to hear Carl just do a bonus round. How hard could it possibly be? It's probably, wait, wait, I get to take a guess. He's going to give us the names of 10, no, we have to name 10 fictional sci fi, time warp. Time zone, time travel movies. Nope, nope. Doctors. In doctors profile. on Dr. Doodle or Dr. Dr. Doodle. <laughs> <laughs> doctors I, I, in science. First, first, I will speak the great curse. This should be a pretty easy round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? 
it, is it going to be figure outable? <laughs> If you don't if you don't know it, just think it through. Okay. So in in, in many uh, trivia, geography related trivia, it's often a, an answer. The question is often what state, you know, borders the most other states, and there's two of them. Tennessee and Missouri both border eight states each. But if Tennessee and Missouri join together and united into a single state of either Tennessee or Missouri C, they would combine border a combined 12 states. Name any 10 of the states that Missouri C or Tennessee would border. Oh my gosh. There's your bonus. You card. surpassed yourself, Carl. What are you calling this uh, category? Tennessee or Missouri C. <laughs> That's Let's the see. name of the round. Uh, I can't wait to put that on our trivia uh, uh, put it out on Facebook. Team. Uh, okay, so send us to our rooms. Oh all right. God. Good job. Breakout rooms. Oh. Open all rooms. Uh, oh my God. Name any 10. Okay. Here's Missouri. But I'm drawing it on a, I'm drawing it so I can see what it is that I'm looking at here. Well, is it Kansas? Definitely uh, Illinois. It, looks like, it look, currently looks like this. There you go. I can't see that. It's, it's, it's a, um, box, a box and a rectangle. So Kentucky. 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 So Arkansas um, is right there. Yeah. Arkansas. I know that because I've driven there. One of the Carolinas. North and Carolina? Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma. It's to the left of Missouri. And above Missouri is what? A Iowa? little bit of Illinois, but no, um, Can Kansas. Is it Kansas? Kansas. So I mean, there's, all of Kansas, there's Illinois. Kansas is something else, because there's twelve. Well, I'm part of Illinois um, is above Missouri because, like, St. Louis borders Illinois and Missouri. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Okay, we got four. Uh. Wait, where oh, we have five. I have Illinois, Kentucky. Where's Kentucky connect to uh, Tennessee? Yeah, Illinois, Kentucky, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas. Okay, on the side of Tennessee is uh, is that part South Carolina? It's one of the Carolinas. Maybe it's both. Maybe it like goes in between because we got to get to twelve. Does does Min does Minnesota border? No, um, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> I think it's north and south. Oh, right. Minnesota's couple. up there. Um, and maybe Georgia. Down in the far right corner of Tennessee. And what's under that Tennessee? Mean. Mississippi and Louisiana? I was going to say Mississippi somewhere, yeah. And I think Memphis. Louisiana is right next to it. I've never been there. Indiana? Um, no. no, Louisiana and Mississippi. Louisiana. Louisiana. They're right next to each other. And I think they're under Tennessee. Do we want to keep Georgia in the list? Well, that's ten. Well, Georgia's right under North Carolina. It might have a little connection to it. Oh, so we do. We were keeping North Carolina. Well, it says we have to have. T there are twelve possibilities. We need we to come only up with 10. ten. We don't. We need ten. So, so I think ten that, that Georgia works. might be one of them because it's probably so one, something. It's a very small amount that's connecting it. So including North, so right now what I have is Illinois, Kentucky, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, <laughs> North Carolina, and Georgia. That's nine. And South Carolina. And South Carolina? Yeah, because it's North, South, and Georgia. They're like boom, boom, boom. So maybe they, maybe South Carolina connects all of it and then part of Georgia and part of, part of North Carolina, because you know they're, you know, it's, it's not a grid. Nobody planned this out. So little connections might be. My logic is, is that we there are 12. So it's probably these 10 and two that are also connected in little tiny places. Like maybe Texas is connected to, I bet you Texas is connected to Missouri right down at the bottom of Missouri in the left. No, no, it's got. Oklahoma, it's Oklahoma's, Oklahoma's, in, Oklahoma's in between Texas. Yeah, and, Oklahoma's going to be in between those. Yeah. Oklahoma goes over the top of 
Texas. Texas. Oh, God. Oklahoma goes like this. <laughs> Oklahoma goes like this. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Fifth right. grade, I knew this. I'm drawing him. So what else? Where else could it attach? Um, there's nothing underneath, right? Missouri goes to the goes to the ground goes to the ocean, right? No, no. Well, what's that? Isn't oh yeah, isn't, it's only. Oh, yeah, isn't Kansas west of Missouri? East. It's, 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 it's. I'm trying to. Is it east of Missouri? I think it's east of Missouri. Well, then what's west of Missouri? What? Wait, hold on. Nothing is west of Missouri. The, the United States ends at the, at the west of Missouri. <laughs> it, it is. It is. It is uh, Oklahoma, and underneath Oklahoma, it is Arkansas. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. No, Oklahoma's underneath it. I no Oklahoma. Okay, Arkansas, okay, so might, um, Arkansas might butt up against okay. it. Let's see, Arkansas's California right is on here, right? Because I've driven <laughs> down from Missouri to Arkansas, and we just went boom straight down. And then Oklahoma is right; it's to the left of Missouri because uh, Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, I, I, it's uh, is a there's a giant road, and on one side is is it's uh, thirty five. It's I thirty five. No, it's like a Kansas city, city road. Missouri. It looks like I, a city where you could see, like you could see houses and houses and a road in between. It looked like a city street. Yeah, yeah but that's but, uh, between Kansas and Missouri. Yeah, Kansas, Missouri. Not can not Missouri and Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I was wrong with Oklahoma. But I still think Oklahoma might target it. It's Kansas okay. next year. So no Oklahoma? What are we doing? Okay. I think um, there's also Swiftia. It's the new state named after Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just going to step in and cheat and say Swiftia is not a correct answer. Okay. Oh, he cheated. Thank you. He got on video. Okay, so look, look, you guys. It is, it is Missouri right here. Okay, so Missouri. You go through Missouri to get to Arkansas. You go left to go to Kansas. You go, well, I mean, west to go to Kansas. You go up into Illinois. You go right over into uh, Tennessee. And then there's Kentucky up there. I think it's North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and underneath is Louisiana and Mississippi. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine. So I think. So, what are your nine, Susan? I have Kansas, Illinois, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Okay, yeah, I have Illinois, Kentucky, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, North Carolina, Georgia, Arkansas. Uh, wait, can you say those again? No, yeah. it looks like you've got everything on the list. One. You because have I everything have, Susan said, but in a different order. But I have I think ten you things. You have everything on there that I have. Do you have nine? I have ten things. Well, what, you, what do you have extra that I don't have? Let's see, Illinois, Kentucky. Oh, Oklahoma. I took Oklahoma off my map. So, oh, is is that off? I'm trying to picture this. I haven't looked at a map in a while. Um, why are you guys deferring to me? There's a guy in Minnesota <laughs> right there. He sh he should know this. Well, I'm I'm well north of. The, but you, you're closer. Oh, you're closer. I told you. Him. I knew the I-35 corridor. It goes straight down to tech from okay. Minnesota to Texas. Okay, between Illinois and Kentucky, is there another way of connecting? I see Carl's enjoying this very much. So, <laughs> I, I um, is there some? Okay, Illinois. And Kentucky, is there something kind of like right there? Because I think there's something else touching somewhere in a corner or some place. Not like a big, huge border, but like a uh, Missouri. I don't know. Okay, so under no, Minnesota, under Minnesota, what's right below you guys? Iowa. Anything Iowa's else? right south of, nope. Um, Iowa? What's below Iowa? 
Uh, Missouri. No, I thought it was Kansas, but uh, oh, or Kansas, maybe no, no, because Kansas is like right either above or below Tennessee. No, Kansas is to no, the Kansas... left of, of Missouri. No, I'm thinking I'm confusing it with Kentucky. I always do that. Okay, I'm not sure. Okay, so Kansas. Kansas. I can't picture. If you're going to go up straight, Kansas, then go up. Is it Iowa? And then um, Minnesota? Well, Minnesota's north, just north of Iowa. So Minnesota, so Iowa, that's share, just as far as I could get. I can't. I know, know, I'm visualizing. I think it's a small border. Go east from Iowa, they get Illinois. Okay. And east and from Illinois, Iowa, you get Indiana. You know what? It's probably Indiana. I bet you it's Illinois, no, uh, Indiana, in, Kentucky. No, Indi Indiana is east of Illinois. Right. Not, not west. It's east, east, but is it kind of Illinois and Illinois and Indiana? Indiana, Indiana, Indiana I the same shapey, long, yeah, shape. deep. They cut they deep. Keep, they're they vertical. Keep the same thing. So I think that. The bot. If you were to drive to the bottom, of Illinois and Indiana, underneath it is uh, Missouri. Um, Missouri. Mm, no, no, no. Underneath that's Kentucky. Missouri definitely touches Illinois, but I thought it was only like a corner of Illinois touches a corner of um, of Missouri. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm. I'm. I swear I'm going to get a map and put it here somewhere where I can look at it right in time. And I got a globe right up there, but. You can't see it. You don't it's have facing. Right. It's facing way, and I'd be cheating. Well, if you can see it, like if it's I, a but book, I can't. Can the northern hem. It's okay. it's too high up in the northern hemispheres too. Uh, can you can you get your your um, dog to go? Can you get your dog to go and just knock it over and rotate it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little Carolyn, too you high up for books her. There, you should be able to knock it off. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to cheat you guys. Say, I have a map of the Shire. I'm sorry. That's all I have. Oh, that's not going to help us at all. I keep saying I'm going to get a uh, table of elements and a world map and put them like right so I can't miss it. Um, Let's see. I think Kentucky rolls across the top of Tennessee. Completely? Almost. And I, and I think it cuts off Indiana from Tennessee. Trying to remember a road well, trip we need a tenth state, and I think it's we have we have ten, but our tenth is Oklahoma. I think so it's probably no okay. I'm I'm not really part of your team. I'm just a guest here. But I think oh. Indiana over Oklahoma. I don't think I think in, uh, I think Carl, I think Carl, Kentucky comes think? in between them. Hmm. <laughs> Oklahoma, which I bear, probably was driven through it at the age of thirteen and found no other reason to go back is right there over texas and then i think it's kansas i think it's illinois indiana kentucky somewhere in there i i don't know you guys i don't think it's indiana somehow i think indiana gets cut off by kentucky okay so you think it's more likely oklahoma <laughs> Oh yeah, I think Oklahoma's directly south, or almost uh, directly south. South of what? Of uh, Missouri, I think. I can't. I'm, oh my God. I thought it was left of uh, west of right. Kansas. Let's see. Can I pretend my friend John is in the house somewhere, and then I can <laughs> John. Can, yeah, because he's he's the geography guy. Or I could say, you know, my um, wife's in the other room with a globe. I could have. <laughs> so we're pretty confused. We're pretty confident. And my husband's the, outside with the contractor, so I can't ask him. So. Oh, damn. You know, the, we have a Greyhound map up by the bathroom upstairs. I could probably just have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but we think we've got Tennessee nailed, right? So Maybe. what I'm saying is there are 12. So if we guess Oklahoma, that's fine. Or if we guess Indiana, it's fine. Something's got to match. We're missing I don't something. think it's Indiana. Okay. I, so just, I keep thinking that. Kentucky just something. rides across almost the entire top of Tennessee. Arkansas. So I'd say Illinois might Oklahoma. clip it at one. We have Kentucky though. Yeah, we do. What is Kentucky. to the left of Arkansas? Is it? Is it Oklahoma? To the left? You mean if to it, the east or the, I mean, the, or the, the west? The west of of uh, Arkansas? Is it Oklahoma? If so, then that might be touching Missouri up there a little bit in the corner. 
and the I lower think we should keep, west. I think we should keep Oklahoma. So Illinois, Kentucky, Arkansas, Kansas, okay. Mississippi, Louisiana, Oklahoma, North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina. I agree. Great work, team. Start <laughs> paying attention to maps more. I swear I'm going to get a map and put it right here where I can look at it. Yeah. <laughs> that, would have, that would just feel like I was cheating because I know I'd put the map there intentionally. Just I just learned something today. That's so frustrating. Can I go look at a map now? Did Did you learn that we're being recorded? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a map. Okay, there is Arkansas. Oh, yep. oh, I messed up. Kansas, that. Oklahoma, Kansas. Okay, so Nebraska is. So that's Iowa. Oh, I put Louisiana. Okay. Louisiana is directly underneath Arkansas. My goodness. Oh, right so under Arkansas. Carolina doesn't. Right there in that little corner. Right there. The corner? Yeah. The, right corner. the corner. I thought it was connected just somewhere. Yeah, Virginia. And that's Kentucky and oh yeah, Indiana. You're right. Indiana yep. doesn't connect. Yeah, North but not Iowa. South Carolina. Well, Iowa does Illinois doesn't either. Oh, it's got Missouri. Yeah, that's though. Illinois, right? Okay, there. so it's got South Missouri. Carolina doesn't. Georgia does. Iowa. I thought. There's Kansas. Okay. All right, Mr. Minnesota dude. Look at this. What? It's right under Iowa. It's like like takes the whole. It is, isn't Iowa. it? <laughs> It sure is right under you Iowa. A, you better get in a car and go driving today. I have driven that damn that, well, that quarter. I told you. <laughs> Come on, well done, that... ladies. Yay, so, team. Yay, yeah, 35 <laughs> quarter. Yes. Yeah, so Kansas the Canadians and the Arkansas. Yeah. 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 And the can yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I, I screwed up South right Carolina. There. I thought it hit it. I thought it did it. I thought South Carolina did too. Fortunately, we saw our Kansas and Alabama. Yay, Jane. Janine, can you see it now hey, on Gary. this map? And well, team effort. Yeah. Janine. Janine. And I help. I'm too. looking. No, I don't see it. I don't Fair see this Minnesota. Minnesota is his hat. Okay. Iowa is his face with the nose sticking out. Okay, he's <laughs> facing east. Oh yeah. Lower, and then the and Louisiana is his foot. What are He's you talking about? <laughs> the chef. His name is Memo. Uh, I didn't know oh, that. Oh, are you talking about Missouri's like his chest? Yeah. And, and, and Arkansas is his shorts, and that's his yes. and Louisiana's yes. boot. Yeah. Oh, I never thought of that before. So what is Tennessee? <laughs> Tennessee no, is the train. Not part of the Tennessee is a neighboring Tennessee state. Is oh, her, 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 no. Tennessee, Tennessee is a tray is the on which version. is placed Tennessee a piece of Kentucky fried of chicken. Tennessee is the wow. porno version. So, so in this visual <laughs> yeah. that you're having his picture right now, he's wearing a red shirt, so he's first to die, right? So, <laughs> Very good, Susan. It's just the shape. Oh my god. No, but that is a sheep. But then you're, I'm looking at it on the map, and you've got this Tennessee sticking right out there. You know, we're, gonna, how we're I never going to get a was north we're never going to get a show on Netflix. That's a phaser rifle, Susan. So I'm missing context on this. <laughs> a phaser. <laughs> Very good. A phaser rifle. Who's got a, who's got a mouse? It works. Okay, go up there and show this. Show people what you're looking at. That line right there is a human. See his foot. Okay, there's this. Okay, show his He's head. His chef. He's got a big chef hat. Mm. Chef hat right below it is his right. face. There's his nose. <laughs> his nose sticks into Illinois. And see, that's his red shirt. And then he, he's pointing to the shorts right now. And that's his foot. See? Okay. Uh, you can do, what is that is Tennessee? Is, is, is out <laughs> you can do a Google <laughs> image search for Mimmel, M I M A L, and you'll see that guy standing that way. Tennessee is a tray on which he is holding Kentucky fried chicken. Because oh. <laughs> oh. oh. I thought it was a euphemism for something else. A tray. Tennessee's a, a late. Because a late he's coming. serving it up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. 
Happy start off with this. Start off with this. Yeah, Ellie, my, it has to be up. I'm if gonna, you're gonna, yeah. I'm going to talk to my mom. She's going to not going to want me to do this anymore. Okay. Have we done answers? Have we done answers yet? The, oh the answers for anyone with no access to visual chat or visually impaired people <laughs> Iowa, Illinois, Kentucky, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Virginia, yeah. North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi. Okay. What order was that? All over uh, the map. Chaotic order. <laughs> Literally, yeah. <laughs> and, and I think I have a typo in Alabama. Yeah, Not a clockwise, just... alphabetically, numerically. <laughs> Okay, I apologize. And by I by length of word, minimal, minimal yes. or chef well, reference, good. but red shirt reference at all. So, well, it's only red on this. Yeah. Well, it's a Star Trek reference with time travel. Oh God! Right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are possible. Okay, so we're going to do scores right now. I just want to make sure everybody is aware that on Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, Thursday night, we go through this all again, but with absolutely oh, different right. people playing the categories, writing the categories, which I never know in advance, and different <laughs> teammates. Every team changes every week to different people. Invite your friends and your enemies and come and play again. Next week, we have Rob, and your chickens. Carol, Carl, Aaron, and Gail. Hmm? What, Linda? Bring Make chickens. sure you invite your chickens. Oh, and chickens. Yeah. You must bring your chickens. Yeah, you got to bring a chicken. Okay, so let's do our scores and see how we did. Kick you out. Okay. Oh. I think everybody get a 10 except my team. Oh, well, you know what? I was no. on the team down here that kind of <coughs> probably. Oh, so maybe. Uh, I'm on five. I was on five, and in. I know we didn't get a 10. And it's my fault. My team got a nine. No, no. She we came all in spoil us. We all agreed on that answer, Kevin. I know, but I was sure. I, I was let's sure blame Kevin. Was wrong. <laughs> yes, he probably tried to say Billy Joel or something. <laughs> Yuppie, who the year? That'll be, that will be, that will be New Jersey Island. in there. That'll be Long Island. He won New Yuppie Jersey. New, who not a state. Long Island's not a state. Did you say you had zero? I had nine. Oh. And everybody else had 10. Okay, stop the except account. For, stop the except account. For, except for Susan's team. Are you, I, you, are you sharing, Susan? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Sharon. Okay. So stop not the flockers and the non-flockers. Nine. We have a new leader, folks. All right, let's go up to we didn't kill the Pope or Barbara. Ten. 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 We have another new leader. Pause for the moment to enjoy that. Okay. <laughs> Small energy at getlife.com. Ten. Ooh, uh -oh, yeah. tied. We have a tie. Right. So, so this this gut richness in a jar. All right, let's see. Hey guys, get, get eight. 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 No way. Yeah. Oh. 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 Did not tank the team. There you go. It's not the curse of Susan. Did not tank it. You get the lowest score, but luckily enough, they had enough before. Oh, for once, the person who said it was a relatively easy round was right. Well, it wasn't that easy. We had a lot of argument. 9.2 is 9.2 is pretty high. Yeah, that is really we had, high. We had some Midwesterners to help out. <laughs> yep. Or Minnesota guy got lost. Yeah. Hey, wait. <laughs> I would have I would have pitied it. I would have pitied any team that was entirely from California. I was right about <laughs> Kentucky running across the top of you were in, right. Indiana not being there. You were so, correct, yeah. yes. But I was right about that. Okay, but I didn't know how much of that was else. on there. You get in the car, go for a drive today. I'm just here to drive to see what's on the other side of this road. Yeah, that's that's a do. long drive. Don't, don't do maps. Just just drive. Just okay. go check in person. Hey, anyways, nice, nice of you to visit. To... Nice of you to visit today, Avi. Thanks. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Your father yeah. and your uncle. That's very nice to see Avi we're, again. We're, we're glad to see you again. Yes, and yeah, we have a new, a we have a new member who's who's joined. Hopefully, he will come back again. <laughs> you didn't scare him away. Yeah. We do this the Thursday doctor. Night. Did we scare early? you? We can't handle the time. Hi, it's everybody. It's so, a pretty okay. These are a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Hi, Gail. Yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy, Happy New Year. Year. I'm going to put a new year. Happy New Year. Year. See you on Thursday. Bye, everybody. Happy New Year. Bye. 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 Bye.